thank you so much for joining us today. Great job on stage. You have a lot oh, of thank you. big announcements. And I want to start with, uh, I guess, the big one, top in headlines, and that's signing Microsoft as a Foundry customer. Does that mean that Microsoft's going to be using Intel's production for its home ground chips and only Intel? Can you just provide more details on that relationship? Well, it's going to be big. Right. You know, Satya just said, hey, they've committed designs to 18A and he didn't say if it was their designs or which different segment. So we're just happy to have them as yet another 18A customer. And he was willing to go public uh, with them as a customer of 18A. And it's adding to the growing list of foundry customers that we have for both wafers and for packaging technology. So it's also adding to your pipeline. So yes. your, yeah, your Intel Foundry pipeline was originally 10 billion, you upped it to 15 billion. Yep. Can you just explain that $5 billion difference? Is that because of Microsoft, United Microelectronics, your Foundry partners, like what's driving that growth specifically, especially when you sit on earnings calls that there's going to be no meaningful revenue growth uh, until 2025? Yeah, and you know, three things that we've uh, getting from 10 to 15, you know, we announced the UMC partnership, which adds to the pipeline. We've now announced Microsoft as the next 18A customer. And we've also completed the number of additional packaging uh, customers as well, our advanced packaging boundary offerings as well. So those three have taken the pipeline up pretty substantially. And uh, so we've uh, updated the number to over 15 billion now. But the bulk of your revenue right now just comes from packaging. Not, and that's saw we saw weakness, which impacted your quarter. That was some of the traditional packaging. But the pipeline is almost all around advanced packaging. Some of these mature node relationships like the UMC and Tower Partnership, <laughs> but increasingly the modern nodes like A. So we see a very robust overall you know, pipeline of customers and our lifetime deal value, what we talked about now over $15 billion. We're starting to count. I'm going to just make a, I guess, a hard pivot for a second because it's topical. And it was your commentary about Ohio and the, the plant delays in Ohio. Can you just shed some light on that progress? Does that mean that you'll have to change your forward guidance because of those plant delays? So, you know, when you build a factory like this, it's really two phases. One is you construct this incredible building that takes multiple years and some of the most complex plumbing and chemistry and building and seismic that's done on any building on earth. And that has continued on interrupted with no delay. So the building is underway. If you go to the site today, cranes and concrete trucks and so on, the then filling it with capacity when you put that expensive equipment in, that's pushed out a little bit given some of the market conditions. So, but we're continuing, get the building built and then we're gonna equip it and use it, right, for production, depending on market conditions. That'll be a little bit later than we initially expected when we announced What the do you mean by market conditions though? Well, when do I have founder customers? What happens, you know, we're in a very tough economic cycle and we've seen, you know, us and many other companies say it's a little bit softer than we expected at this uh, at this time. And these, are, when you put the factories, you know, we announced the site, it was over 20 billion, right? And about a third of that is the building. We're getting that done because that's this long lead time project, the pouring concrete, digging mm. holes, doing construction. And then the second phase, two thirds of the cost is in that phase. And then when you put that equipment in place, you've got to use it. You know, that's the only way the economics work for a semiconductor. So that phase, that second portion is the part that has delayed a little bit. Grants and loans, that of course from the Chips Act. The company right now will receive eight and a half billion in grants, uh, but could get as much as an uh, additional eleven billion uh, in loans. That would be to help it build out fab manufacturing, fab facilities here in the U.S. Let's bring in John Fort because he has uh, the man of the hour at Kelsey. John, David, thank you. I am here. Uh, in Chandler, Arizona, uh, with Pat Gelson, the CEO of Intel. Big day for you. We've been waiting for this for a while. Chips Act funding, $8.5 billion. That's a lot of money, but shy of the $10 billion that some, maybe you, were hoping that you'd get. And then there was this DOD kind of $2.5 billion pullback headline. So tell me, with this funding now, what's this going to do for the timetable for you for getting Intel back to manufacturing leadership? 
well, we just say this is an exciting day for America. It's an exciting day for the CHIPS program. It's an exciting day for Intel. And you're behind us, the construction project alive and well, and we're moving forward rapidly. And the facilities behind us, hey, these need to come online in 2025. Be able to be part of our 18A, you know, our finish of our getting back to leadership. So this brings us back to leadership manufacturing for some of our key products. Also will be key for our foundry business as well. And it really is sort of the coming together of everything that we did. You know, a lot of shoe leather, getting the CHIPS Act uh, passed and the eight and a half billion, the additional 11 billion of loan guarantees, the investment tax credit, and then more to come with uh, defense and the uh, R&D investments. So today's a great day. It sort of is, I'll call it the end of the beginning of our journey to rebuild semiconductors in America. This is exciting. The following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Lou, that was for you, my friend. Well, 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 look what we have here. We have idiots. We have stupidos. We have ignorant people, wildebeest, centaurs, half-breeds, double agents, all who want to yap their mouth. But now you've tuned in to the real Xbox fans. How do you know the difference? Well, you're about to find out. One gets their sources from stupid people. The other gets his sources from experience, research, and knowledge. We can go around on social media and act like people know what the hell they're talking about carry on no information or substance from the people who are yapping their mouth. But if we're not going to use our sources, if you're not going to identify what you're talking about, why the hell would we on social media take anything anybody says seriously? So the new legal says on the internet, right? that I love eating waffles in the morning. You know what the internet will do? It'll take exactly what I said, and then Fugly and others Inc. will come up with their own saying and say, legal hates pancakes. You know, and we'll run with that. Why does legal hate pancakes? Well, because he said he loves waffles. My friends, across the world, my gamers across the world. And I'm, this is why, at this point, Direct Gaming holds special to the Xbox community. Because it's dumb moments like this when we rise to the occasion. And it's too easy. It really is. It, you guys literally don't make this hard at all. It's easy. Because either one, you dudes don't know how to read, Two, you don't know how to comprehend what's being said to you. Or three, you are having a very hard time understanding the vision of Microsoft. Uh -oh. Well, guess what, people? You are in the right place because today you're going to learn all these things. So welcome, welcome everybody to the fundamental show of the futuristic vision of Xbox Live on Direct Gaming. Today, I got my man resident gamer Zero in the building, Crazy Lou Gaming in the building, representing the Xbox International Podcast, which I will have to apologize live and direct. They was, I was supposed to be a guest on their show. I was sick and, and kind of down and missed, but we will continue with that. Forgive me, guys. 
I hope that you guys reserve a seat on that plane for me because I'm ready to get my parachute. Games Heroes, the man of the hour of the passion. Games Heroes. We got Spartan 117 in the building. Now, let's go over here to the Mighty Chit Chat community right now as it's uploading. And of course, as Trey Gaming just made us go worldwide. Straight out of Australia, man. As Trey Gaming representing from the old Gamers Initiative podcast. We appreciate you always. You know you're my brother, man. Thank you for showing up. I got my man Fugly. What's up, baby? Get the get the beer jugs for me, man. Cheers, mate. You know it, fam. We here. We here. And then I have the ultimate, one of the ultimate legends of gaming. One of the ultimate root gamers that I always love so well. He knows he's my big brother. That's my big brother right here. The other zinc. Y'all don't want no parts of other zinc. We know it. And it's always a blessing. And we always get graced by him. Him and Jago Six when they come over here and be a part of our community. I got my man, Future Generations, Mr. Live from the Streets, my man right there, 50 grand in the building. V Records, you already know, man. Appreciate you, bro. It's good to be back, yo. I was down and out sick, down and out, man. And then I was just bored, y'all. Wanted to get on some game and didn't really want to talk. I can't do talking all the time. There ain't that much damn talking all the time. And y'all already know, we got to talk from passion. So if there's no passion, I'm not going to do y'all no justice just doing a show. And I don't have the passion. So shout out to everybody that was been patient for about two weeks. Crazy Lou Gaming, thank you always for coming up in there, bringing your passion. Dr. Vodka, you already know, a longtime friend of mine who's been with me on this Xbox ride for many, many years, man. It's just a blessing to be here, y'all. And let me tell y'all, we finna get it going. I'm gonna give the mic. Got four golden mics for my comrades. Game Trills, are you there? Game Trills, come yeah, in. Yeah, I'm in. Dr. Mike, brother, you, you've been... You've been full of energy today, so I'm gonna let you go mm. first, man. We're gonna mm. bounce off you. It, do, you have a, do you have your Pokemon shirt on? No, no. <laughs> Let's go. No, I'm, I'm no. getting my stuff together. Let's go. I'm ready. Look, man. Let's go, baby. There, there's a lot of this. There's a lot of negativity on Xbox. Ah, oh, when not? Here. When not? Nah, but yeah, yeah, man. Listen, man. They don't want Xbox to succeed, man. That's basically what it is. They're talking about the, the, the sales on the Europe is what flatten? Dude, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Yeah, but Lou, but Lou. The Xbox, where's the Xbox from stranglehold? In the United States, right? Mm -hmm. That's the biggest market in gaming. Ain't no goddamn Italy or France or Germany. Look at the look at the size of the countries. Now, don't get me wrong, right? Do Microsoft needs to market better in Europe? Yes. But PlayStation has a big stronghold in Europe since 1995, right? So the reason why PlayStation have a stronghold because they bought a publisher back in the days and is a UK publisher. And it was buying studios and buying off developers and all that stuff due to in the PS2 era. So, so here comes Microsoft trying to, you know, you know, beat up Sony, and it can, but the problem is that Sony is a too, the brand is too powerful, right? So this Microsoft did challenge them in the 360 era. Yeah, you can say yeah, they did. Don't get me wrong, but why did the PS3 still want um, catch up? Because of the European market. So the Europeans are not going to let go PlayStation, and play and PlayStation has a big marketing with you know football stadium. Now we're not talking about the NFL. I'm talking about soccer, right? And so basically, Microsoft. It's hard to advertise an like American company. Hard to advertise in a foreign countries, and the foreign countries don't really like. You know your brand. So when people think about Xbox, they think about Microsoft, and Microsoft is the most hated brand in the world. So it's like it's like this, Lou. It's like iPhones versus Android, right? 
Do you know more people like I um Androids over iPhones in Europe? It's about 70%, 70% of people actually have an Android um uh, phones than um you know Androids, right? I mean Apple phones, right? Doesn't mean nobody cares about iPhones. It's just that it's called brand loyalty. That's basically what it is. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's just that then you don't understand what Christopher is trying to say. People don't understand is the whole entire Europe, right? No. It's the certain markets is not doing well. I actually know the markets. If people read what the um the articles are saying. The, the, the dude is not saying every single place in Europe. He talk about Russia, France, Italy, Switzerland, the Czech Republic. That's where the says are flying. Come on, man. Nobody, listen, man. Look at the size of these countries, man. These countries are very small compared to the U.S. So the end of the day is, man, all of this here is uh, all propaganda. Then he came out and says, one major so, publisher, wait, real one quick, major... Real oh, quick, okay. let, let, let me ask you a question, Game Zero. Where did this information come from? From what person it came from? Because we all know who it came from, but it's it's valid that everybody knows where it came from. Yeah, Christopher Dingman, something like that. What's his name? From where? From where? Game what? Yeah, game, game, game. Buzz Daily, whatever business they are. UK, right? Yeah, UK. Yeah, he's a UK. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the UK, and yes, Microsoft's biggest market in Europe is the UK. Don't get me wrong. But it's not bigger than the United States, though. Like, look at the size of the country. Look at the amount of population. I think it's like six million people live in the UK. Compared to 200, 400, almost 400 million people living in the in, in, in United States? Come on, dude. That's redundant. Uh, and number two, number two, he said about a major publisher, right? Who says that they regretted to put their game on Xbox because the sales are flat in, in Europe. A major game came out last year. I'm and I told legal, I, and I, and I told legal, like we we break it down, like what major game came out last year? A publisher say that, like what high horse? But that's not true because if that was the case, why Warner Brothers is still making games for play Xbox? So I, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out the game. Like the closest one I would say is Wulong, but Wulong is not really a major. Yo, you games. know, the problem with all this theorizing games. Hold on, hold on, sick. Hold on, sick. Yo, games. Yeah. There ain't nothing. It's just a bunch of hot air. Yeah, I know. Not, I know. But let me. I but know, let me. But let me. But let me put a stamp on what you were saying earlier, right? About the European market. In 2023, Sony's PlayStation market share of console operating systems in the United Kingdom. AK UK stood around 59% in the market, overtaking Microsoft's Xbox in terms of market share. Since 2012, when PlayStation obtained 96.85% of the market share. Here, here we go. Uh, the uh, more, uh, oh, go, go ahead. I was I, I already found the link. So because um I know Six Layer dropped by, and, and let me tell you, Six Layer, this all came. From Chris Dream from head of game oh, games oh, industry following. biz, and he I've said, and he said, he said, he said, third part, th all the devs are having issues working with Xbox. Not, I, I don't think it was all. I think it was third party devs. I don't know where, because seriously, I just didn't want to hear it. Because when I see this stuff, I just say, turn the next page. Because why waste my time? On stuff like this, Luke, why? Yeah, that's, it, Watch that's, this, that's, Luke. Luke, Luke, everybody, listen to this. Listen to this, Luke. Listen to this. Let me finish this up because this go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Up, this sums up everything that Game Trails was talking about, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it and it makes people who talk about Xbox not being successful or Xbox flatlining in the UK look real pathetic right now. 
PlayStation obtained 97, 97%, right, of the market share. The market share has decreased considerably and was at 52% in 2021. Meanwhile, the Xbox market share has gone from zero. When my, when PlayStation took over with that 97%, my, Xbox had zero in Nintendo 2012. It went to 47% in 2021. So from zero to 47%, Microsoft basically from 97% to 52%. Now watch this. Before <laughs> sliding even further to some 41% market share by 2023. So right now, Xbox is at 41% in the UK. 41%, right? Now watch this. <laughs> last generation. Last generation. The PlayStation line of consoles is a consistent star performer for Sony in the fourth generations of consoles that Sony had gone up in the console wars in the UK. Sony approximately sold only 6.67 million units of the PlayStation 4. This is what we're bitching about, people? Six hmm. million consoles? Now watch this. That was from 2013, Luke, to 2019. That's the PlayStation. Now here's the Xbox. Microsoft's third generational console Continue to sell, continue to sell, sell well from 2011 onwards. Their fourth gen offering sold 5.2 million units from 2013 to 2019. So you telling me that we're out here lying to people, right? About Xbox not doing well in UK because it sold one million less than the PlayStation did. So we're not even talking 7 million sales, bro. We're talking 6 million and 5 million before the very next consoles came out. What are we doing out here? Man, man, forget all of that. Yo, 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 let me keep what this are we real. Doing? What are we doing out here? Why are we, we keep talking about why are we yeah. talking about Xbox being irrelevant in the Europe so, so, market? So, so, because, so, so. because one jackass said this out of nowhere with no proof, no nothing. Chris oh, Drake, no, no. Here's the thing, though, because this this is what he has, because this is the information he grabs by him, right? Because I was reading through it, and basically, he got the info for Baldur's Gate three. Because remember, the, the Baldur's Gate three to do the co-op split screen thing on on the Xbox Series S was an issue for the devs. So he basically grabbed from that idea and probably grabbed a couple of other issues from other devs and said they're having problems working with the Xbox. So basically, he just came up with this theory because the funny thing is, if it didn't if it didn't work out as he said, then then wait a minute, isn't Baldur's Gate three in Xbox now? Hey Lou, hey Lou, so it did work out. So so hey, what Lou. the hell? What the hell are you trying to talk? Why, why the hell are you trying to bring this up? Hey, hey, no hey Lou, hey Lou, what's you're up? You're right. You're right. It could yeah. be the Baldur's Gate devs. Because I'm trying no, to figure no, out. No, 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 we don't know nothing. Sick. People just Sick. fucking shit. Who cares? Sick. Sick. What we're trying to bring up is where he got that source from. We're not saying he's right. We're just saying where he got the it freaking source from. It but at the end matter. of the day, he's exactly, because listen, it's Chris Dring from Games Industry Biz, which yep. we all know, which we exactly. all know, because when I saw him, I was yep. like, you know what? Next page. Why exactly. did I say next page? Why did I say next page? Because I'm not going to sit there. Listen to a guy who's always from day one anti Xbox all the way. He's exactly. been anti Xbox. So when I heard about this, I was like, "Oh man, here comes, a, uh, here, here, comes, here, here comes another crap out of yep. nowhere for nothing." Because all, yep. all he's, he's doing this, why? Because everything has been kind of radio silent. Not only yep. radio silent for 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 Xbox, but also radio silent for PlayStation. Everything has That's been radio right. silent. Yeah, but why is right. it? But why has everything gone radio silent? Let's 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 talk truth right now. And the truth is, 
there has been a lot of bad news from PlayStation. Yeah. So why why the heck not right now with all the bad news from PlayStation, right? Right now, why don't we spit some fire on Xbox? Because oh, I went to Pax East. Oh, I I, yeah. I called somebody in Pax East. Oh, I have a homie. Because what East. better way to take the smoke off I mean, you than to divert seriously. that smoke to your enemy? Exactly. exactly. He's, 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 He's doing this for clicks, guys. That's all he's doing it for. Exactly. And we just got over this shit when all these other Xbox <laughs> yeah. guys were pointing fingers. Um, it's like that picture of all the Spider-Men um, pointing fingers at each other. It's the same shit all over again. The fact that we've been talking about this is a waste of 15 minutes. All right. It's bullshit. It's not worth it's, talking hey, about. Listen. There's more it's, important it, to talk about. Hey, 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 listen, sick. Everything is important to talk about. Why is it important to talk about? Because us, we are here in this channel... We're part of the community. We know it probably is a waste of time, but listen, we got to tell everybody who can be worried, who can be, you know, thinking about it, who can be saying, oh, my God, is he right? Oh, man, you know, because listen, no, at the end of the day, at the, at, the, at the end of the day, that's why, that's, that's why we're here. That's why we're here to say, talk about it and say, hey, guys, this is where this man is wrong. I mean, this is where the bullshit's coming. We've this done is where that the crap is coming. And it's the same and let's, shit. No, let's, no. Let's keep on doing it. I don't, I will, I'm not going to give shit. up on it. I don't care. I'm not going to give up on it. I'm not, well, I fine. Then don't if you won't. That's I fine. What I'm saying is <laughs> it's time to open your eyes and for everybody to stop being so but, goddamn stupid all the time. Like, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Because you, right, because right, I've, right. I've been waiting. I'm the one who could call for this podcast to even happen. So I just want to make this abundantly clear to everybody. Right? Sure. How many of these so called insiders were proven to be flat fucking liars who didn't know nothing about nothing? Right? And we're doing mm -hmm. it all over again like we didn't learn the lesson. So how, it doesn't matter how, how, how many times we how, say this, how many times did we do this? And then how, there's all these points like, oh, 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 oh this guy heard from this guy, Mag heard from. Or from this guy and that guy here from the other guy, but, but they're all but, it's but, all a circle jerk, yeah, and but, they're but, all here. No, hold on, let me sick. finish. You're but right, sick. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Let him finish. Is, uh, right. It's just a fucking circle jerk. Everybody just repeating each other's bullshit with no verification, no evidence, no nothing. It's just like you said. Once you see Chris drink, move on to the next thing because he's full of shit. That's all it is, and we yeah, all know bullshit. Tim Bond yeah. and Peter Ovio. All the bullshit. It's always the same shit. And and as Xbox fans, if you ain't learned the lesson yet, you're not gonna learn the lesson. I'm telling you, Xbox fans, PlayStation, fans, it doesn't matter who, who, what platform you claim to cap for, or if you're neutral, it don't matter. It's always the same bullshit. People talking mm -hmm. out their ass. Sony's on fucking fire. That's what's going on. That's the real fact. They yeah, literally said, said they have no games for a year, but we mm -hmm. weren't about what Chris Dring is just is but, um, is but, talking a bunch of shit for but, us to um sit there for the but, no, but, but remember, but remember one thing, sick. Remember what one thing. They yeah. don't have any games, but it's a good mm -hmm. thing they don't have any games because the media came out mad and put them under the skirt. Let's defend Sony. Mm -hmm. Sony mm -hmm. hide under my skirt. That's mm -hmm. what they're doing. And right. so what do what do we do on here? We go out right. here, right? Because you mentioned, like I said, I mentioned Chris String. I saw we saw what he said. Like I said, I turned the next page because basically, hey. yeah, I don't listen to none hey. of that crap because I'm tired of all these rumors. Hey, got I'm no tired. I got uh -huh. I'm tired of all these rumors. I'm tired of all these crap. I'm tired yep. of all this stuff. I mean, why don't why Me don't we sit down and and speak the truth and say, okay, listen, this is what's happening. I mean, look, all right. Let's 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 bring this to subject, right? Yeah. Xbox is going third party, right? Okay. Why is it going third party? Didn't y'all see what Phil said about Gen Z? Didn't y'all see that? And yep. you know what? And you know what the funny thing is, Slick? I mean, mm. I got I gotta do is call a friend of mine. He only speaks Spanish, but oh, I don't know if he speaks a little bit of English. I gotta do is call him. The funny mm -hmm. thing is on Saturday, we were talking about that before I read that today. We yep. were talking about not on Saturday on Monday. We were talking mm. about it before I read that today. And I was like, whoa, I didn't even know if people mentioned. I was like, man, right now, what's mm. going on? Right? What's going mm. on? Basically, I have nephews. I have nephews. You know what they handle real well? So mm -hmm. mm -hmm. what do they handle real well? Tablets. What do they handle real well? All that stuff. 
So why the hell not? Don't we go out there, open our platform to deliver our games where they gotta go? Yeah. Because seriously, it's a way to attract the players to come to our platform to buy the freaking games and play them. So why the heck not? So I mean, oh, that's all oh, because and Louis, he, and Louis. He, he, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Console sales is gonna reach to a point. Even Sean Layden, I think it was two weeks ago, through I don't know. Sean Layden even came out and said, "It's the same damn people buying yeah, the damn console." Did. Yep. Same so damn people. Said it. Sean Layden same, said, "I think Nintendo all said the same, same thing too." People. So basically, where are they gonna grow? Yep. They gotta grow elsewhere. Yep. They have to. So, yep. In order to keep games alive, they gotta keep making them for other places. I'm sorry, that's the truth. Yep. The yep. only thing that the only thing that is has the perfect platform, has everything what's going on, and maybe. I'm not saying now, maybe, not now, maybe in the future, we might see Nintendo also take the knee and do the same thing. Yeah. Because seriously, people are just, I mean, they're not it's getting Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's why I know people ain't paying attention. The very last post I posted was about Nintendo already having a partnership with Microsoft. Yep. But it mm -hmm. goes back to what Sick was saying, right? Why the hell are we even on Twitter, right? Be the truth. Mm -hmm. Some of us are on Twitter because we really don't have no place in reality to speak. No, normally, if, if 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 some of these weirdos were up front in real time, we wouldn't be talking. So Twitter is not a real place, right? It's a platform. It's an either platform where you get on mm -hmm. your little your little devices and you text your words away. Mm -hmm. It's not based upon truth. It's not based upon false. false. It's never based upon feelings. Well, yep. I want another grown person to hear what I have to say. That's yep. Twitter. Yep. It's not based upon truth or facts or lies. It's just hear me. I'm yep. saying something, right? Yep. But people like us that come around has got passion for gaming and culture. All of us. Everybody here has a passion for gaming. I know that about you guys. I just posted about my uh, about Nintendo. And Microsoft partnering, expanding gaming experience for all. How many of y'all ever looked that up? And that was last year. How many people? How many people you heard on Twitter talk about this already? So the notion that excuse me, the their relationship's that, never been stronger, Nintendo, actually. Right, yep. President. The notion that Nintendo isn't about expanding gaming off its platform is a lie. Flip money. But 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 you know why nobody wanted to talk about it? Flip money. Because up, you got people who are emotional about Nintendo only being exclusive on this platform. Mm -hmm. All of this stuff is about feelings. Yep. Right, sick? It's not about truth. Yep. No, so no the facts Xbox at all. community isn't crying about its games. We've been having our games off our platform since the beginning of Halo. Halo Combat Evolved was on PC and Xbox. Yes, it was. This is not a a new thing for Xbox fans. We just had to get accustomed to the vision. Yep. It became more and more, more popular to do it that way as Microsoft began to expand. Everybody here remembers the days, excuse me, y'all, I'm still a little sick, but everybody here remembers the days when Microsoft would express their expansion and everybody would make fun of Microsoft. Remember those days? And, and Microsoft got ridiculed for they not having real excuse exclusives. Remember those days? Mm -hmm. Well, somebody had to bite the bullet, right? It couldn't yes. have been Sony's weak ass. <laughs> it, it couldn't have been Nintendo's weak ass. Especially it not had then. to be somebody yeah. with the big bank. Yep. So the big bank, the big tech had to do it to set the president to where we're at today. Now so, everybody so, so legal. Let's 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 talk about that. Right. Let me, all right, please hold on. I'm about to finish. And then yeah, you Look, Beast, how everybody tends to pretend that PlayStation isn't doing the same thing. Notice right. that, Beast, right? Uh, the CEO came what out up, three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and let everybody know that the future of PlayStation will be going to PC, mobile, and cloud. But look what I said. Look look at the word, right? Look at the word that they use for that, see? Sick, you you're a you're a vocabulary guy, right? You you mm. you you know what ubiquitous means? That ubiquitous. means everywhere. Yep, everywhere. But you want to know why they don't want to use that word, sick? Because there's feelings involved behind it, beast. 
Uh-huh. Nobody wants to believe that mm-hmm. Sony's going to put its games on as many platforms as it possibly can because the industry is too expensive. We've been screaming this on direct gaming for years now. What mm-hmm. are they going to do when these games cost too much? Well, people, here we are, like Crazy Lou said. Now, if your feelings is blocking you from seeing the obvious, if you don't understand, right, what Phil Spencer is saying, when Phil mentioned phones, he's not talking about consoles. When when Phil speaks about PCs, he's not talking about consoles. Those are two different markets. Can I can I read something real quick? This is from my brother. Yeah, and then Beast, you got the mic. Boom Gaming. He says right here on Twitter today. He posted Phil Spencer on Gen Z. The real reason, the real reason is conceived is a thing of the past. This is what Phil Spencer said. This notion that Xbox can only be this one device that plugs into a television isn't something we see in the Gen Z research because nothing else is like that for them. Some of them will, will have an iPhone, some will have an Android, but all games and everything is the same. I can still get to TikTok on both of them, at least for now. All of their stuff is available wherever they want. So for Xbox, our brand pivot as we attract and maintain relevance with a younger ar- audience is Xbox is a place where I can find the great games I want too. So seriously, film and set it, guys. Film yep. and set it. Now, yep. now Lou, uh, Beast, I'm, I'm, Beast going to ride right off of it. Go, go to your point, Beast, right after this. But I want you to ride off of this too. Look what Phil Spencer just said. Plug in your console into your TV. Beast, that's our generation. Yep. Sick, that's our generation. Lou, yep. Resident, yep. 117, Game Girls. Mm-hmm. There, was a, there was a time where the only play, the only thing you could do to play a certain video game was to plug your console to your TV. Mm-hmm. But we also grew on a time, right, where all these games were made across all these platforms. They were just done differently. Me and Game Trails was talking about this today, Beast, and I'm going to let you grab that mic. I, when I wanted Double Dragon, Beast, Double Dragon was on, on Nintendo. It was on the NES, but it was also on the Sega Master, Master System, System, right? Yep. The difference, Beast, was that on the Master System, Double Dragon was actual Double Dragon. It was a two-player two player co-op fighting 2D game, just like the arcade. On Nintendo, it was a single-player Double Dragon experience. So, Beast, Double Dragon was put on multiple platforms. But just because it was put on multiple platforms did not mean you was going to have the same experience. Just like Mortal Kombat. This We lived in this era already, right, Beast? So we (laughs) already know about, hey, it doesn't hurt to have games all across the platforms. Right. Beast. There's a reason why I'm an Xbox fan. It goes back to what Rilla said. Do y'all understand why y'all are Xbox fans? There was a reason why I was a Sega fan, Beast. It didn't have nothing mm-hmm. to do with me trying to knock Nintendo off the market because I love Nintendo too. But there was a reason why I preferred Sega. Go ahead, Beast. No, nah, man, it's just it's just funny, man, because y'all remember even when I first came here and, and found out about sp- Spaces and, and all that in 2021, my whole thing that I was trying to explain to people, like Xbox is a global brand, right? They got bigger, way bigger ambitions than anything you see. And I said, PlayStation is just another video uh, console iteration. I said that. I said, this is, and this is before the app. I said, you're going to see these, you're going to see a Game Pass app on TVs. Um, you're going to see the, the phone app more robust. And you're going to see Game Pass basically on every screen across the world. That's their grand ambition to be everywhere, kind of basically just like PC. Right, the way you can interact with your phone and your PC and your TV, like Samsung Dex and all of that. Microsoft is trying to make Xbox into that same thing. It's gonna be everywhere. Now you fast forward to now. They they executing that exact plan, right? So it's like now you thinking about think about it like this. What's what's on Steam right now? You got Steam games, you got PlayStation games. So therefore, when I was trying to have this conversation about the the what would you want? Uh they were talking about an Xbox brand PC, which makes no sense. Like I said, right. if that if that was if that was the case, Apple would have been took over. That's that right, nobody right. nobody is looking to buy a branded PC. Right. When you build when you build a PC, you're taking pride in your build. 
Right. right. So, so, right. so, th- and this is why I, I squashed that out. But I said a console that's more like a PC. Even PC dudes is itching to get a piece of that. Right. Yeah. I got plenty mm-hmm. of PC dudes that's that's friends, and they say, "Yo, if they do I that, I'm definitely jumping on one." Right. Yep. So right. now, now you fast forward. If if and remember I said that me and Sick was trying to school these dudes, but you got a lot of like y'all was talking about earlier. You got a lot of dudes on Twitter. They love to talk game, but they don't know what they what they talking, they about, they talking about. Right. <laughs> and we and we told them and we told them that you know a, a console a, a p a more PC based console. You've never seen that before. That that'd be the most hot commodity on the planet, bro. So now, what Phil come out and say today? The exact same thing we was putting them boys up on. He hey, said he yep. wants the Xbox console to become more like a PC, that's bro. Right, that's right. So I'm this is why when I be me. when I be talking to them dudes on Twitter, bro. Right. Like it's it's on a respect thing, bro. Hey, like if a nigga if I know more than you, I know more than you, bro. Like sometimes you gotta know to chill and be humble and yeah. learn. Like right. that's how you work, right? Hey, but a lot look. of them don't want to do that. Go, hey, go ahead, please, look. Let something easy come ac- come around, like you said, right? And mm-hmm. it's, easy. it's easy. You just plug it in, and it's got the power of a PC. Right. Do you think people are going to go all the way out their damn way? Bro, this is common damn This is what I've been talking about. Right. I understand. Do all you, This is to my PC guys. Do you know why you are a PC fan? Because you're going to really have to question yourself in the next gen, right? If If, if you had an option, to spend less to get what you really want out of more, would you buy a PC? That's a no. question only a real PC fan has to answer to themselves. Because mm-hmm. I'm not, because I'm a console fan. But as a console, I want what the PC obtains, right? right. I know I may not have everything, beast, but if you can give me a good, if you can give me performance and visuals across the border, console oh, good, good that is down to and, and, and uh, identity, yeah. Right. right. So and that, now that's the and that's the thing. And that's the thing we try to when we have welcome these conversations. Bro, I know I ain't said y'all's names, but welcome everybody. Yeah, for sure. I we now we try to have these real conversations with them boys on, on, on Twitter. You so y'all know bro. I used to host spaces all the all the right. time. I used to host I used to host spaces, bro. But I kind of passed the torch. Like a lot of these dudes that's talking now, they spoke first in my spaces. Games that tell you that, sick and tell you that, everybody right. tell you that. But they kind of took they kind of they kind of misconstrued the assignment, bro. Like it ain't to do space right. for attention. No spread the right. truth that we've been talking about, bro. Like, yeah, but they be they be out there talking and they get it goes sideways and you start talking and, about and real you stuff. And the it's crazy. For people right. Who didn't have a platform, beast? Right. You, See you, now, now that now that's the funny thing. That's the funny thing, right? Yeah. Right. That's the funny thing, right? I, I'm, I'm gracious enough to help you get a platform, right? And then you go on and do the same thing to do before you did and to do before. That's not what you're supposed to do with that, bro. Like, exactly. my thing is, I hate being a nigga that's the dude that say, I told you so. It's like in life, mm. when you're right, bro, you, it's, it feel good to be right, but at the same time, when you know somebody, it bears, it don't feel so good, right? And that's how that's it always is. We talk to the these dudes. Place, so they wouldn't make that bad choice right. anyway. Guys, right, so I, it's I, like, I, right, so so when it comes to this, right, let, let's, let's pee game for a minute. Microsoft hit the nail on the head. What? What about a decade? A decade ago, when the Xbox One came out, 2013, right? 2013, right? right. right. 2013. So, there was be- there was before their time. Everything right. people complain, try to complain about on Xbox, you doing right now. Dudes exactly. on Twitter all day, every day. You on your phone all day, every day. You online somehow all day, every day. When's right. the last time you voluntary gained offline? You don't. You really have to game offline unless your power get knocked out, which should be a rare occurrence for most people, right? So everything they was complaining about, yep, yeah, everything they was complaining about, we doing today, right now. So again, what what, with everything Xbox is doing, this is the future of gaming because PlayStation is playing catch up. They talking about making a a PlayStation store on PC. Now, what what was they telling us back then? Legal sick. They said. What's the point on, of getting a, a, a PlayStation if a uh, Xbox of all your games on PC? Oh, Sony's right. talking about doing the exact same thing. So I've been question the PlayStation fan. And you got crickets. What's, Come on with it. What's the point? Yeah, what's the point of a PlayStation if all your games going to PC? Right. Now, if, if Microsoft going to do this is a chess move, right? If they go ahead and put Epic, Steam, and all these other stores on Xbox, by default, every game you put on PlayStation is coming to Xbox, whether you want it to or not. The only way Sony can try to s- circumvent that bullshit, that right there is to try to make it so right. you have to sign into PS Plus to get into their games. But then that's going to kill the appeal to, to, to dudes that want to go through Steam, right? They're not really going to want to try to do all that, right? So they going to, Microsoft going to have them between, in a rock, a rock in a hard place. You're going to have to pick what you're going to do. You're going to keep trying to fight with Microsoft and stay archaic, or you're going to have to bend the knee and do the same thing they're doing. 
Therefore, right. every every narrative y'all put out there gonna fall, gonna crumble in the public eye because we know what it is. It's funny to me seeing these news articles kind of they take little jabs at Sony. Sometimes they don't they don't be as as forthcoming no, about like they do Xbox. They don't be no. I, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They they, they got, will say something about their no disappointment. Right. No one. Right. 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 I, so it's I, it's just it's just funny to me, man, with the, with the way all this is going. Like, and I'm I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna pass the mic. Right. Most you dudes that's so upset about what Microsoft doing, right? The Tim Dogs, the, the, the this dude, the, this dude, and even Peter Brown got nothing against nothing personal against none of them dudes. No, them dudes but are all funny to me. So yeah, yeah. it's it's not it's not per listen, it's not personal right. with y'all, but on the gaming tip, none of y'all ain't fucking with me. You know that already, no. bro. No. I done ran through PlayStation dudes, no. Xbox dudes, anybody, right? No. So if you're talking about this game, it ain't nothing you can say to me, right? I had to check Peter and a couple of them, them dudes in the past, but I say that to say this. For as upset y'all get about what Xbox is doing, a lot of y'all don't even game enough to feel that way, bro. Like, why are you an Xbox fan? Right? Y'all right? need what to it, cut what, it out. Stop making me right, laugh. What, yeah, what 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 are you what are you an Xbox fan for? Because right. I'm a, I remember in the past, y'all was talking about how much value it gave you, right? Right. They offered you this and game pass. And what happened? Did all that disappear because they got four little games? Right. Man, are you crazy, bro? And them four like, games they didn't even play. It, yeah. yeah. One of them, one of them got playing. called out. One of them got called out about not playing yeah. it. Guys, I got a question for y'all. Real up, nice and simple. Real nice and simple. Yeah. Where is what where, where do these consoles make their I mean, where do these companies make their money? Is it in console sales or in software sales? It's software, software sales. Software, software, sales. software all day. Yeah, Lou. Lou. There you go. There you go. There you go. I mean, you know what that, I felt, Lou? You know what I felt, Lou? I mean, I, let's 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 talk some facts, right? right? We are because I just love it. I love it so much. When we see that beautiful news come out, when we see there's that beautiful two news come there's out. two million PS5s collecting dust, by the way, in stores. Wait, wait, wait. So I, just, I, I just love the fact because yeah, twenty. Let's talk, let's talk some facts right now, right? Come on, what it looks so. So how many consoles the PlayStation say it sold the other day? I mean, they posted it was fifty-two million, right? Fifty-two right. million sales, right? Mm. Like, wow, fifty-two million sales. But then three or four days later, I think it was a week later, we saw they lost how much? Ten billion. Thank you. Ten billion. So, mm. so what the heck are we doing here? I mean, seriously, what the heck are we doing the, hey, right now? Let's, let's, I mean, so when, when when I heard this guy right saying babies. saying consoles flatline, so saying consoles flatline over there in Europe, I was laughing my ass off when I when I heard that. I was like, so why the hell does Microsoft have to worry about consoles being flatline over there in Europe? Because basically, what what they, they they really want to see grow is their Game Pass subscriptions and is their games that they sell, right? That's what they want. That, that's what that's the number they want to see it grow because that's where they make the money, not on the consoles. I mean, people still don't get this idea. Seriously, you all need to understand. Even Phil said it years ago. We're not making one dollar or one cent out of these consoles. They're not making nothing out of these consoles right now. They still aren't. Well, I don't they know. They if never they never, they never have. Not, not well, one Xbox has, has ever sold well, for a profit. So, so basically, people worry that, oh, they, it's just so more constant. I'm like, dude, they're right now, they're, they're going the right way because at the end of the day, if they don't expand that software, if they don't deliver what they got to deliver, they're not going to get that money because, again, games, how much do they cost? 200, 300 million bucks? I mean, seriously, how the heck are they going to recover that money? It's not going to be only by Game Pass. So got to sell they got to do a whole bunch of stuff same doing with playstation PlayStation is going to do the same damn thing i mean look at it look what legal posts there about playstation go i mean they're working on sending their games on pc to epic to steam to a lot of other platforms on pc why because seriously it's like how we saw what happened this day so rising forbidden west came out on pc where was it it wasn't in the top 10 it wasn't the top five it was way down there in the top 50. It was close to 50, man. That's how bad those sales were with Horizon Forbidden West. Why? Nobody on PC cared at all. No, it's not It's not because they don't care. Because this is, this is what happens, Beast. When you have a game that comes out, you deliver the hype. You deliver the hype for the first month everybody's had to play it. And, man, if you would have hyped it up the first month, you probably get a couple more sales on PC would have sold really well. And trust me, that money would have been really nice for its for the pockets. But since they decided to wait, I mean, look, it came out to what game came out right now. It came out. Now we have Dragon's Dogma here. I'm playing it. I'm loving it. A lot of people were going crazy about Dragon's Dogma. And they bought Dragon's yeah, yeah, Dogma instead of man, you fake news. Game. You fake what? news. Nah, yo, hold on now. Dragon's Dogma 2. I want to say something right. real quick, y'all. 
I want to read this now. I want to read this down for the integrity of direct gaming, right? Mm -hmm. for everybody that's just been lost about Nintendo beast. I want to, I want to, I want to. Ah, silent says. Yeah, I want to, I want to TKO this moment. Sick. <laughs> Partnership between Microsoft and Nintendo has sent shockwaves through the gaming industry. Let me just say that right there. That, that, so, so Lou, everybody in the gaming industry is shocked that Nintendo and Xbox are collaborating. Oh, but wait, but, but wasn't that a, wasn't that an old news? I mean, that was like, well, how many, old news, how many times have you heard about it? Ooh, hey. I know, but nobody talks about no, it. But nobody I, I, talks about this. Nobody What's talks this about move? this. But I remember that. I remember right. them in a partnership. Yeah, the two juggernaut comp companies have long been considered rivals. True, mm -hmm. but now they are joining forces, beast, to revolutionize the gaming world, beast. Mm -hmm. So there's something going on, beast, in the industry. That's that that the gaming industry is realizing that it's better for us to make money together, right? But, but we've we been, but wanna, we don't want to see people lose out. You remember when you remember the concept of devs, right? And we're not talking about all the devs, we know there's some weirdo devs, but for the for I'm talking about this story of devs. Lou works at Nintendo, sick works at uh. Steam, Beast works at PlayStation, and Game Show works at Xbox. Oh, nigga, blasphemy! Right? Oh, <laughs> 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 Crazy. And, Beast, and, watch Beast, and the rest of us work for three, four, three. But we're all. But when we go out, you know, to some gaming events uh, that's representing gaming, we all see each other, right? And we all talking to each other, and we're having a good time celebrating just the aspect that we're in the gaming industry right we know we're on rival platforms but we ain't taking it out personal when it comes to our jobs right we have a respect there right now because me lou game Trail sick resident 117 we all know beast and beast gets laid off at playstation we're gonna call beast i'm damn hey, bad you all right bro and we heard you got laid off right Yo, man, we hate to hear that about you, right? Because that's what we're going to do behind the scenes, Beast. We're not doing that on Twitter. Right. You're so stupid. You're so stupid. <laughs> what silence said? I'm just laughing my ass. <laughs> but oh, Beast, right. this, is, this is facts, right? So what we do, we pray for Beast. You know, we we we, we give Beast support. Um, we, hope Beast, we hope he's like an angel roll. Oh, man. He ain't getting a nigga support. <laughs> man, he wants some crazy for you. Being for real, being for real, right? We're, 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 we're rooting for Beast to get back into the industry and because we know Beast has skills, right? So, so <laughs> hilarious. this partnership is poised to expand the gaming experience <laughs> for all players, regardless of the platform. This is Nintendo agreeing with this. The partnership marks a major milestone in the gaming industry, Beast, right? As it is the first time the first two of the biggest players in the industry have chosen to collaborate. The partnership will combine Microsoft's powerful cloud and gaming technology with Nintendo's rich game library as hardware to create an innovative platform. Mm. Ooh, they are creating a platform that that does what? Uh, that does what? Sick. Now you remember games before I represent Silent Cipher real quick. Game Shrews. We were talking about it today that the 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 nobody was listening to matt booty that yes we see a whole lot of ideas right sick yeah but the only two things oh no it was me and, it was you and me and beast right the only yeah. two things that three. matt booty and them agreed on that was feasible there yeah lou there's the, the air yeah, resident yeah spark 117 yeah chit chat there's endless possibilities of what we can do in the future but be realistic there's only two things that we can actually grab because everything else is so far beyond the, the technology is not ready for what we want to do but mm -hmm. there's two things that we want to build upon we want to build upon cloud saints and what else y'all cross play so what are they going to mm -hmm. do with Mark? what are they going to do with nintendo's uh uh um a uh, beast they're going to cross play with nintendo what are they going to do with xbox to put xbox everywhere beast they're going to cloud save because the one thing Xbox fans love to do, we love to play 
stop where we're at and get on wherever we start at, right where we left off. Just like that quick resume, baby. Thank so, you. So now, now that's, now, that's the crazy thing. Real quick, real quick, and then Beast, you got it. Silent Cypher in the building. The guys that flip are baby back bitches. Let's go, no, baby. No, no, that's baby. Funny. <laughs> no, no it's, it's funny because... We, and that's another thing we spoke on a while ago. Like I said, sick of games, remember, bro? They used to be in the, in the spaces, man, checking these dudes. Mm -hmm. I said crossplay going to be the future of gaming. I, then I say that, y'all. Now what Now what we seeing now, right? All no. the biggest games in the I world, as most people are coming. No, you didn't yep, say they're coming I, out I, 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 I wasn't there, so I don't know if you said it. Sorry. So, no. Nah, okay, yeah, but they, they they was man. I got a long history, bro. Checking these dudes. Right? Like, do your do your research, bro. Shit. But uh, I see listen, that shit. You I, see listen, you. I'm the dude. I'm the dude that ain't call everything that ain't happened with these dudes on, on Twitter, bro. But this this is the thing, right? Crossplay is gonna be the future of gaming. You see it right now. Like crossplay keeps games alive. That's why see if these being crossplay with PlayStation is actually actually a big deal. And I would love for for see if these to become a little more combat focused. Um, it's a great game, but I, I would love for them to die more in that now that they got it over there and or getting over there. However you want to, how you want to say that. Right. But when it comes to PlayStation, right. And they start talking about these sales. This is the thing I asked these dudes and they can never answer for me. But we know Microsoft and Xbox have never made a dime from selling the Xbox console. That's never been a game plan since day one. So why would it be the game plan now? So when you talk about console sales to me, it never, it never registered because you, you down here on this level, like below sea level. We thinking up here in the stratosphere, bro. So tell me one benefit that the console sales of PlayStation has ever gotten you, bro. Because I get over 400 games on Game Pass day and date. I'm getting the entire Activision ABK library. Hell, Diablo 4 about to come. I bought it day one, but it's coming for the people that don't got it. I'm getting all these things. I'm getting Quick Resume, uh, FPS Boost, all the ways DR, uh, Game Preservation. I'm getting all these things. You tell me one thing. And it's supposed to, this is coming from a supposed failing company, right? Tell me what what has them console sales and PlayStation ever got you besides following Microsoft footsteps, right? It's funny y'all quick to talk about sales and numbers and UK charts and all this, but what do you get? They get a you, Jim you're Ryan bobblehead, bro. Yeah, remember you're a consumer, right? So as, as a consumer, and I want any anybody that's listening, right? If you're a PlayStation fan, anybody on the panel, if they got a a good answer for it. What's one tangible thing that that you've gotten from PlayStation that make you feel like you first? Because last time I checked, they canceled Twisted Metal. Matter of fact, I told y'all these dudes be listening to these spaces and the things we post. I know that for a fact. They done took my words, your words, J words, all kind of words. Yep. The articles yep. been written about us, whether we've seen them or not. Like, it's certain things. You Google your name, a pop-up that you don't even know. I've seen people writing articles about the stuff I posted. I had no idea, right? So we know what the media does these days is pay attention to the what kind of chatter and what kind of uh, conversation is going on amongst the hardcore fans. And they will take that, they, they will take that subject matter and create a title of their own. This is my thing with all of that. When it comes to PlayStation, they canceled Twisted Metal, right? Yep. They canceled uh, that multiplayer Spider-Man. Right. That, that listen, that entire idea for that Spider-Man. I can't. I don't know when they produced that trailer, right. but y'all remember me saying this as far back as 2021. I said, "What well, PlayStation needs is a Spider-Man game," and they said, "How would it be multiplayer?" I, I said, "I said." I said, Everybody that's here right now. Yeah, I, said yeah. we need a, I said we need a co-op, and I said we need a the real spot. No, ain't not legal. Legal. Bro, this is this the crazy part. The yep. the same this this Frank. This the crazy part, right? I, I wrote out the entire pitch because when I started saying it, it was like, nah, nigga, nah, dude, Spider Man is single player. I'm like, no, what they right. can do is make mo a multiverse. They done dove into it. I said it will have portals going to other people's worlds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's everything they showed in that trailer, bro. And I've been saying this since about 2021, right? And we know they listen to us, right? But the fact right. they canceled that, they canceled Twisted Metal, they canceled um, um factions in the Forbidden West shit is all but canceled, right? So again, what what are you getting for being a PlayStation fan? That's what I really want to know from y'all. Nothing, right? So anytime these dudes talk about numbers to me, you might as well be some random person on the street. They don't even gain talking to me about gaming because you don't know what you're talking about. PlayStation hasn't given the, the fans absolutely nothing, bro. Their mm -hmm. entire business strategy is to catch up to Microsoft. By the time they established that store, bro, Microsoft already going to have given us you Steam how, and, you know and everything else on console. You know why you're telling the truth, Beast? Because, right, see, I, what I love the most, y'all, is how people play things off for PlayStation. Sony Fact. was in a $7.9 billion lawsuit because they shaft their own base. Ooh. You got to be stupid. Like, like, at this point, you stupid. I gotta say it, man. People really are really stupid. 
to even brag about a company that's actually done got caught shafting you. Shafting you. Now, 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 now watch this beast. For it. Watch this. Hacks, dude, sick. I'm, I'm serious, sick. It's, it's beyond stupid out here. Look, look they talk about fanboys. No, no. Donkeys got fanboys beat a thousand times. There's nothing like donkeys. Nothing like that unwavering support. Like Jim Ryan even told him. Yeah, they got unwavering. And support. even the dudes who are calling the donkeys out who aren't Xbox fans, right? They're not acting like what's really happening with, with PlayStation is really that big of a deal, but they point at it all the time. Like yes, PlayStation is hey, watch this, burning, and they don't really act like it's a big deal. Even though once you recognize it's happening. Sick, watch this. People are still lost, Lou. Mm. Part 117. Beast, mm. it's been told to us in English. Right? Lou, you know Spanish, but no, they weren't told us in Spanish, Lou. It could be written in it could be written in Latin in the ancient languages. Right. It, 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 it could have been in Arabic, right? But it wasn't. <laughs> it was spoken to us in English. And people still, still, still don't get it. Game Charles, people still don't get this. Watch this. Today, and this was back in the day. So today, Microsoft confirmed plans to bring four unknown. Uh, well, not unknown. I'm sorry. Four, I, I hear beast here, so he can hear this. Today. Microsoft confirmed plans to bring four unnamed games to PlayStation and oh. Nintendo Switch. They are likely to be live games, Grounded and Sea of Thieves, alongside so smaller titles like Pentiment and Hi-Fi Rush, right? Now mm -hmm. watch this. Watch this, Beast. And watch this, Chit Chat. It's about to be told to everybody, sick. Xbox wants the opportunity to sell more games and grow communities that are driven by what games? Online play. Okay, let's move forward. Microsoft has confirmed that big AAA games like Indiana Jones, these are the examples, Lou. The key word is like. I know we all went to elementary school, so we understand conjunctions and we understand comparison words. So comparison word is like, conjunction is an and, okay? Microsoft has confirmed that big AAA games like Indiana Jones, here it is, Beast, and Starfield. So that means you can't separate them, right, Beast? Those are both big AAA games. We have this understanding. Won't be coming to PlayStation. But one of Xbox's biggest businesses will stay firmly in its control. Services. Did y'all hear that? Sick, let me repeat that one more time for dummies. Xbox wants the opportunity to sell more games and grow communities that are driven by online play. Microsoft has confirmed that big AAA games like Indiana Jones and Starfield won't be coming to PlayStation, but one of Xbox's biggest businesses will stay firmly in its control services. Now watch this, MJ Dark. As a recent business meeting, Xbox president of game content and studios, Matt Booty, says that Xbox Game Pass will stay, will stay firmly beast on Xbox consoles and PC. So what does that knock on? What, what, so, so when we say firmly on Xbox consoles and, 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 uh, and uh, PC, what does, a, what does that eliminate, Lou? <laughs> PlayStation. Okay. <laughs> the decision was cemented. Beast, what does cement mean? Chit chat, what does cement mean? But Beast, what does cement mean? It's the same thing they put on somebody's legs when they kind of put them in the ocean. Basically solidify, bro. What does cement mean? Solid solidify, concrete, right. unchanging. Uh, right. Concrete. Now watch this, Beast. Now we're, now we're, we're, we're I'm reading this in English, Beast. I'm not sitting, in, I'm not speaking in German. As a core tenant, to the first party Xbox business cred cred credo. So, so Beast, one thing that's not gonna happen is that Microsoft is gonna hang on to the traditional factors of their of exclusivity games. They're not just gonna give up on their exclusivity. They're sticking to that. But the driving force beyond be behind it will be in the service. So Game Pass will not only maintain Xbox first-party exclusive games, 
but also Xbox will use its services outside to 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 uh, to grab new gamers by way of online gaming. So if there's a game beast that gets created on Xbox, we'll call it Hell Divers 2. That's doing well on Xbox and PC for a while. But then Microsoft starts to see that that number starts to plateau, Beast. Guess what they're going to do? Because Matt Booty already said it. Gang, uh, Lou, we're going to open up crossplay. So we're mm -hmm. going to put that game out there and ask Nintendo and, 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 and PlayStation, hey, let's, we want to open up this game on y'all platform so that even your gamers can have some fun. Let's grow this community together. Now, Nintendo and, and, and PlayStation are not going to say no to that because that's free money. That's a quick 30%, Lou. Oh, all we got to do is say, yeah, man, let Microsoft take care of the servers. Let Microsoft just... just and they keep the FTC and the EU off their back because they keep mm -hmm. it I, 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 I said that before. I, 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 I mentioned it on here. Oh, boom, but this is the point, though. So that way, they can that, never come and check on them again because they continue to do it from time to time to keep them at bay. Yup, that too well, sick. Good. What else does it do? It helps our friend Beast the Truth never have to get laid off again. <laughs> hey, yo, listen. Hey, no. Nah, hey, hey, yo. Hey, so this nah, like, is this, this the funny thing, though, right? Because yeah. this is what I was trying to explain to them dudes. Them putting four games over there, because I don't think I said it on your show yet. Them putting four games over there, right? Remember the whole ABK deal was about Microsoft supposedly being this monopoly, right? So right. say they say they they, they uh, theoretically, we matter of fact, we we speaking in um hypotheticals right now, right? right? So don't get up, get your opinions in a bunch or do I don't care either way, right? right. Sound logic. Now say hypothetically they go out to take two WB somebody like that, right? Exactly. Remember your last argument was monopoly this monopoly that we think y'all right. gonna keep games away, bro. Yep. We we gave y'all Call games. of Duty because right. you are unable to compete. Matter of fact. Yep. You helped shut down Deviation Studios and a bunch of things because you, you couldn't compete, right? Yep. Uh, you ain't even keeping Destiny and Bungie up to par, yep. right? So we was gracious enough to give y'all Call of Duty. Matter of fact, yep. forget just forget this Call of Duty. We're giving you Diablo. We're giving you a couple mm -hmm. multiplayer games. Matter of yep. fact, we're giving you four of our own games, right? So yep. say yep. we go after Take Two or WB. Uh, exactly. You know, I don't want them to stop. What, what, what'd you just say? Don't you got four of our games? We don't got yours, That's right? So who are they worried about right. becoming a monopoly? Because I didn't help you more than you've ever helped me. Right? Exactly. So what can they say to Microsoft that they did go out and take to a WB? Nothing, right? right? This is that. a chess move, and it's set up for a, a bigger move. acquisition that's going to go down in the future. Wait, Luke, they don't and understand. The, and the funny thing is, Beast, I mentioned this right here on Direct Game. Remember that? I said, because a lot of people went out there and say, oh, they're going third party. You know, they brought up all the doom and gloom stuff. I said, maybe... It could be they're gonna go after something else big, and so when when but, the regulators come back at them, they're like, "Hey, look, we're everywhere." Mm -hmm. yeah, I mentioned that right here in direct gaming. I mentioned that. I think I also mentioned the next PI, but yes, I mentioned that. Yeah, I you hit nail on head if you did, because that's what's gonna happen. Famo, you remember one time me and you were talking on the phone, mm -hmm. and I talked to you about Spider-Man sales, right? Spider-Man, mm -hmm. the first game on PlayStation Four. Mm -hmm. Remember that I said I'm gonna log into that info and to bring it up, right? Mm -hmm. So the other day I sat down, log into the PS5 to the PS5 and said, Let me look for the Spider-Man game. I, I beat the 2018 version. And I looked down the information the last time they posted numbers, I think it was in 2020, of the original Spider-Man game that came out. They said it sold 20 million copies. Right. 20 million copies. You know how many people completed act three. Speak act on three, it. act three of the game. That is the last Speak act on. of the game. Only forty nine point <laughs> one percent. Ha right. Nearly half of the people who right. bought the game beat the game. Seriously, I mean that tells you so much. On see that you see that piece, and so mm -hmm. that, that tells you so much that when that game, because remember, I mentioned this before, with the sales on PlayStation, right? Because they like to they like to show the numbers just to boost up how many were the physical, how many were the digital, how many were their console bundle. They're not gonna put that information out there. They will they will sum it up and say, Oh, we sold this much. Right. But how many people have actually played it? How right. many people have actually beaten the damn game? And 20 and million copies, only 49.2 percent. You're Shit. right, Lou. And that is a direct yeah. reflection. You, what you're saying is a direct reflection of what me and Game Truth was talking about today, saying that, you know what, listen, 
it's not about the new legal not liking PlayStation. Right, yep. these has nothing to do with that, right, Lou? I don't have one, but I do have an old, I do have the first one in my house. It's in a it's in it's in my closet, put away with all my other. I got that one. It, it's my collectors. I got a yep. collectors. What's up, Nate? State games. What's up, Samo? Welcome. I, I got it. I wish I had the PlayStation 2, though, because that's the one I played on the most. I wish I had that bad boy, dude. That that was Ooh. a bad boy. Oh, Lou, come on. If you got it, show it. But that was uh, a bad boy, hold right? Up. Hold oh, up. man. Lou got that hold bad boy. Up. Lou got that bad boy. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, oh, man. man. Oh, oh, thank God. Yeah. I enjoy yeah. watching this. Yeah, watch this right I, I watched this sick. I, I watched so many. Yeah, I watched so many movies on that. Man, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Who did it? Who didn't watch movies on that? Who didn't but, watch movies on that? That's nice. You got that bad boy. Who but, did it? Bro, that's what that's what I first watched uh scary movie two at yo on my cousin uh PS2, bro. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, you know the first movie I watched on my PS2. Right. <laughs> the Matrix. Right. There you go. Yep. Yep. Shout out to hey, everybody. Right? A lot of everybody great movie watching. A lot of great movie watching on yeah, yeah. That's, that's dope. Sid. A lot of great movies, man. Yeah. I watch a lot Yo, of man. I don't care what people be saying, man. That's it. The PlayStation is one of the best. The best DVD player of all time. It is. It's the best. Yeah. Listen, it, we wouldn't even be talking about multiple things on a console if it wasn't for the PlayStation 2. Shout out to the PlayStation 2 and shout out to all y'all that actually got that bad boy because yeah, well, that's, that's the best DVD of, player of all time. In fact, bro, yeah. bro, what's up, bro? Bro, in the building. What's up, bro? Hey, look, straight up. Bro, homegirl, one time don't see. Beast? We don't, it's not the fact that I've never bought one, right? It's it's not the fact that I played a lot of games on it. The problem with the PlayStation brand is its own fan base not buying and supporting their game. It has nothing mm -hmm. to do with it anymore. Facts. You see what I'm saying, Resident? Sick. I and, got it too. And you that's dope, fam. I, I, I got the, it too. Yeah, the adapter. That's dope. Long time to see. That's right, girl. I hope everything is going good for you up there in Louisville, Texas. Texas connection in the building. You know, I got to represent, bro. But, uh, yo, straight up, it's not it's not my fault that, oh, that you got at least. You want to know what's funny? Uh, uh, it's we were not, just talking it's about not our earlier. fault. It's not our fault that the people that you want to be your hero, right? The, the people that you want that you want to be saved by, right, resident, is ignoring y'all's problems by coming over here and talking <laughs> about the platform we love. Yep. But see, all that's going to do is get y'all in deeper and deeper trouble, get your feelings hurt, and then y'all are going to get mad at these clowns for being who they really are. These clowns are who they are. They're really this stupid. All right. They're not it's pretending. True. This is who they are, bro. Yeah. This is and, who they are. Um, so, the about it is, uh, Beast and I were talking about this earlier in the space. It's mm -hmm. like, it's more about being down with the winning team. It's like a lot of people just want iPhones. Because that's what everybody else got. They don't know nothing from nothing. And we were talking about Europe earlier. It's the same way there. They're being paid out there in Europe at the football stadium. You know, soccer as they call it here. But yeah, uh, just like Game Zero said, we call that football worldwide, yeah. right? Football. Real foot, right? Because you actually kick it with your foot. You kick the ball mm -hmm. with your foot. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, you move on. Keep going. Keep going. Hey, look, man. One, anyway. one, 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 two, two, Yeah. But anyway, 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 <laughs> don't interrupt disrespectful man i swear to god <laughs> anyway uh yo talking all that talk dudes over there in europe don't know nothing about xbox because Speak on it. they spend a lot of money to make sure that happens i was on the podcast uh Speak with, on it. i would see money more than once we got a dude from um from portugal right a police officer from portugal and he's like the only xbox fan out there in portugal right and he said it clear as day it's just Hello, like we always man. say about everything else that we know, right? We know what's going on. We know with no evidence until the evidence comes years later that Sony's paying, right? So games right. don't come out. They don't advertise. Right. Nobody wants to advertise with them. Well, you expect it and you see Chris Dring talking about Europe and, and, he, right. he, and he says, all, all these Europe, pay, all these Europe UK dudes pay. out there hanging on Xbox, box, man. Y'all know what y'all can suck, man. Right? Yeah, man. I, I, and, 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 I, 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 I always said this. Me up, man. 
I always said this: they're getting, they're getting this suitcase. They're getting that nice suitcase. It could be with money. It could hey, be clothes. They're getting that nice, beautiful suitcase. This is this That's is what they're this, going, getting. This is my message. Incredible. This is my message to all the UK boys, y'all. Give me a moment of silence. You ready? All right. This Don't is fart. to all the UK ponies. You better run. You better do it. You can't. Oh no! Get cut! 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 cut, 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 cut Oh, oh, hey, hey, man, hey, man, hey, 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 it's less than 10 seconds it's less than 10 seconds good thing we talked over it so yeah that would help that's funny dude that's hilarious hilarious but that's so funny that's so right bro y'all Hey, Here's legal, the real we question, get a, guys. Hey, we get a couple rights right, man. You'll say a big ass yeah, couple rights right. I, I, have to, I have to mute that part. I'm going to have to mute that part. You did? Oh, we're we're talking, talking, we're talking, we're coming again. We talk over it. We talk over it. I think, I think they won't get you because we talk over it. No, so it, 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 it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's funny with this whole console war, this whole console war stuff, man. Because I told y'all the reason a lot of these dudes mad, bro, is because they they came up watching these dudes want the console war, man. That's right. Like it ain't, it ain't even about the exactly. game, man. It's like you you a lot of these it's dudes mad because right. you feel like if they got a couple of your games, they're gonna be able to pick on you, like in right. school or something. Like they bullying you, like bro, you right. you a grown man, y'all grown men and women out here, bro. 30, on, 40, 50 years old. So like, real, okay, real, so real, real, so real, real, so, man, so what like, PlayStation hey, got hey, for your games? Don't you still got Game Pass? Right, yes. ain't, ain't you still getting Indiana Jones Hellblade hey, all this day one? Beats, it what beats, are you a massive question, but beats a massive question, right? Yeah. Did people in this world, in the real world, right, went to GameStop or whatever the or Walmart or the pawn shop, whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. Sold your Xboxes because Pentiment, Grounded, High Fire Rush, and CUTs on places. Did that ever happen? Man, listen, games. I got I got you one better. I wish I would unsubscribe from Netflix because they put one of their movies on Amazon, bro. What I look like doing that? They don't make no sense. <laughs> that's the equivalent of what y'all doing, right? It's like you know, y'all y'all make no sense. Like the stuff, the, the the logic that's used in in the the gaming Means. community, like the Means. side that's a lot it. of those dudes on. It never happens in real life. Oh, okay, right? I'm gonna tell you it, why. It I'm gonna tell them why. It's true. about bagging rights, man. Nope. It is. it is. It is. At the end of the day, somebody. It's a shame that we're in 2024, and they, they need to really try to look at what we game. See, the thing is, man, they really want to know what a console war really is. But re real quick, y'all, sorry, <clears throat> still got a chest cold. So silent cipher in the building. Sony ponies can snack on my sizable terror flop. Tell them, tell them, <laughs> them <laughs> no, 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 baby, no, no, <laughs> yo. Yo, oh, yo look, oh, they want to know what it really was like at a having a console war, but see, they're doing it on social media, beast, and they don't even realize that when they're doing it on social media, they're not even doing a console. War. So see, like these words have been taken, they've been hijacked. Like when we're talking about a console war, a real console war would be. The, the capabilities that the Xbox series can do and the capabilities what the PlayStation 5 can do. And what we do is we look at the all everything that these consoles can do and we judge them by that. So a console war wouldn't be, oh, you're stupid because you got an Xbox or you're dumb because you got a PlayStation. The console war isn't even about the sales. The console war is, damn, man, how many games y'all got this year? See, the real console war right now Xbox is winning. It's a it's a period. It's not a an it's not a solidifying thing. It's a it's a period. It's a segment. It's a season. So as this generation kept going in 2023, <coughs> Xbox was winning the console war yep. because Xbox had games. Xbox was gaining momentum. Now here we are in 2024. Xbox, Xbox is winning, is winning the narrative. Xbox still has the game. 
or most systems or whatever. That's it's whatever right. Xbox is doing is what's it's, on everybody. That's game. right. Now, you don't matter, you don't matter if you PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo. That's right. You're talking about Xbox all day, every day. Well, yeah, that's, oh, that's right. Right. Remember the Remember the biggest lie they ever told was we believe in oh, generations, Lord. right? That's they said, right. They said we believe in generations. Now, look how quick, look how quick they double back on that. Imagine right. if Sony, imagine if Sony still believed in generations, bro. That's they would have got smoke worse than they getting smoked now, right? Remember, we believe, we believe in generations was a direct response to basically we hear Microsoft is. Uh, uh, having backwards compatibility and game preservation. How do y'all feel about that? Well, we believe in generations. Boy, imagine if they believe in generations they and only gave you just Spider Man and what else? Returnal. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, Microsoft made y'all right. switch our whole strategy. You can never beat somebody that forced you to change up. That don't make sense. Right. There you go. That don't work like that in reality, bro. That's a now what you just said. That's a console war. That was a good point because you just you just made you just proved the point that. Sony couldn't stand on his principle. Mm -hmm. That's the console war. Hey, um, um still, Sony's SSD didn't work right. That's the console war. Let me tell you something about these console wars, right? <laughs> because I've been around for most of them, right? And before oh, my Lord. time, when I really knew what was, tell what was really going on, up, it baby? was Atari and ColecoVision and Commodore 64 and all the little 8 bit computers from back in the days in console, right. right? A pre Nintendo, right? Right? Pre Nintendo. Now, I come from that Nintendo generation. I was there for the NES, right? But you are pre-Nintendo. Right. But I That's started right. pre-Nintendo. Now then, mm -hmm. I remember the only true console war that ever actually mattered. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you might think there were others afterwards. But no. Nintendo, Super Nintendo versus Genesis. When That's right. That Genesis was the best time. Genesis That's the Genesis biggest one ever. And don't. You have never seen That's one correct. console maker call the other one out by name. That Fact. never happened. They competed against each other. Sometimes they had the same games. Sometimes they had exclusives or whatever, right? Okay, mm -hmm. fine. Ever since after that, right? And this has been the benefit to PlayStation, right? PlayStation, when it first came out on the first PlayStation, competed against two losers. Nintendo and Sega. Nintendo was on a Increasing decline generation to generation Back. to generation because their high yeah. was the Super Nintendo, the N64 was lower, the Game and Two sick. was lower. And right? sick, don't forget that uh, uh, in television was the first to yeah. start the console war on a commercial against Atari when nobody That's else right. did, right? This but they wouldn't fact. name them, but even they didn't name them, even they didn't have the balls to name them like Sega did, right? But listen, PlayStation One uncontested, right? So they got to rise easy. PS2 lived off of that, right? Right. Not the same PS2 they didn't do great things. You just saw I own mine still, right? With the original Sony hard drive, it's heavier than the real Xbox that, that, um, that came with an Xbox out the box, right? So everybody loved to complain about how heavy the Xbox was. The PS2 with the real official Sony hard drive and network adapter is actually heavier than that still, right? No competition. The 360 ran that generation. We might have sold more systems, but the 360 ran that generation. The PS3 only caught up because it was the longest generation since the 2600. Right, they lost so much money, they had to regain and, and, and the reason right. why they catch up because it's the cheapest Blu-ray player in the market. Right, right. right, right. Oh, but even then, there has never been true head-to-head -head competition on the consoles since the Super Nintendo and the Genesis That's until right. this generation. This is the generation yep. where this console generation, a Gen X Gamer 79, yo, bro, you probably the same age as He's me. He's right. That's why I'm keeping it right there. He's right. This console generation is the, stupidest, is the stupidest one, one ever, bro. The and one right, one like ever. All those other ones when PlayStation 1, right, easy, and, and when 360 uh, basically effectively won easy, it wasn't a competition. You knew who the winner was from the start of the generation because of the way stuff was stacking up. And it's the same thing now. PlayStation can't compete because they're literally on fire and will act like they're fucking relevant. They are already have lost. They might be selling systems, but they have like 20 million on shelves. What we all theorized was going on all along with validating that we know for a fact. Just like all the other things we thought about PlayStation that the ABK um, you know, um, drama approved to us with all these receipts and stuff, right? This generation is the stupidest one ever because we already saw what's going on and Why? the only reason... 
any reason why PlayStation is doing anything successful was because they sold PS4 games to people who bought a whole new system for no fucking reason. The first true PS5 game that's been released in generation has been Spider-Man 2. That's the only one, and you saw how it launched. No, that's right. right. That, Every that other game before that was a PS4 <laughs> is game. Is that in uh, Ratchet and Clank? And Ratchet and Clank. Oh, and Ratchet and Clank. Beautiful. And, and, and Ratchet You're and Clank. Right. Well, Ratchet and Clank was a great game, highly rated, and forgotten by the next week. Forgotten by the next week. And then we come to find out, bro, they lost money behind that game. Mm -hmm. Even after it came to PC. They lost, what, um, $5 million or whatever? It wasn't even that much, but I mean, $5 million is a lot when you spend all that time, money, and effort. And it, and it was well-received, but nobody truly bought it. Nobody nope. truly bought it to make up all that cost. Even after on PC. So what are we talking about? Like the generation has already been over. And now whatever Microsoft is doing to get Steam and up and Epic and, and probably the Ubisoft platform and probably EA on the Xbox, bro, I don't know what exactly how they're gonna make it happen, right? But I always had theorized that yo, Microsoft could put out some kind of firmware update and all you gotta do is put a hard drive. And run Windows on the Xbox. I doubt that's what's going to happen with this handheld. But whatever they're going to do, it's about to blow minds. The way they talking Man. and the way the details that we know. And the fact the details we know about this PS5 Pro is so irrelevant that even the developers off the GDC, you know, no, oh, Chris Dring love to talk all this other crap. Why he not talking about that all the developers are like, uh, this PS5 yep. Pro 8, what the fuck is the purpose of this one then? Forget that PAX what? X bullshit. That right yeah. there is real. That's real. You, we, you're going to make a console and they haven't even reached the potentials of the of the ones we have now. Even the developers is like, we don't need this. The developers, the That's developers right. always want more. They always That's want right. more RAM, more GPU, more CPU, more everything, right? And even they're saying, what do we need this for? Right. That's hey, nah, right. You, you know what's funny though? Dudes that got mad, you really got mad because they got to play Pentiment at 120 frames per second. That's right. insane. And then yeah. 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 I, I got a like, question about that. I got a question on, about that. So after it got the 120 frames per second, how many people played it? I got a question about that. I mean, how many people said they played it? It's not about Pentiment. It just it just that uh, in the real world that never happened, man. People. Would, it's not going to show their consoles Facts. because, like, two games from the rival platforms that nobody knows. Like, it's right. like this, right? It doesn't happen like that. These dudes listen to these idiots the past 10 years talk about, oh, Xbox has no games outside of Halo, Gears, and Forza, you know. Uh, you know, it, like all that shit, and they run with this crap. So it, it's like it's been ten years, and it's going to get worse unless Sony, you know, dies. That's basically what it is. Because well, I mean, if Sony it, dies, that's it. Then you can't run all these narratives anymore because Sony's don't exist. I think so. It just. You know, the oh. thing, but the thing about that though, games we, the the, the dudes, with the the ones who know the information, right? Yeah. These, there's too many. This is why this 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 stuff persists. You know how many spaces was up today? How many spaces? And this is my thing, right? You have a lot of people that called out these people, yet you keep running there to listen to see, to see what they got to say, right? If how how many times do somebody got to get proved wrong? Like the dudes they run and listen to ain't never right about nothing, not one mm. thing ever That's ever true. in life. Right from the AB from the ABK deal, they was crying about that, saying it's over for Xbox. I'm like, yo, chill. This delay is gonna go through, right? Redfall, Starfield got delayed. I'm like, chill. D -E -D, the game's gonna come out, right? Those dudes are always wrong, and then you have dudes that are talk smack about them, but you run right back over there, right? So it, at this point, it's real gamers versus the fake gamers, right? And that's that's how, that's how it's always gonna be. A lot of those, most of those dudes that's on their console war, and that's all they do. It's, they don't want to feel embarrassed, bro. It's about the need to feel accepted, right? It's yeah, not these. about enjoying gaming. None of those yeah, dudes play Pentiment. None of them play Sea of Thieves. Well, that, that, they, 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 ba they barely there play Hot Power Rush. You know, none of that, go. right? It's yeah. You don't want to feel like, okay, I'm always... If, if you say you're an X-Bot and you got this pony beside you, that donkey beside you, 
every time you get anything that you perceive as bad news, you're not thinking about how does this affect the gaming industry? You're thinking about, damn, they're going to pick on me. That's what you're thinking about, right? And that's a little kid energy to me, bro. It, like, it's, if, it's you, if you're that terrified. It's tough of, yeah, if you're that terrified of somebody saying something to you, bro, yo, change I've your circle. Many, many, many times, and Beast killed him yeah. every time. Oh, oh, but you only had control of the mic as a bitch. But it doesn't matter because he got his fake Rolex. So don't worry about you. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yo, 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 ain't no dude, ain't nobody. I gotta say this, bro. Hey, is we just gonna be objective as men. If if you well off, you're not gonna be if you even remotely well off can afford an eighty thousand dollar Rolex, you're not gonna be on Twitter begging for, for donations, bro. That's not gonna happen. If anybody around you can afford an eighty thousand yeah, dollar watch, you're not gonna be begging for cash yeah, out, bro. Like, let's money. be real, man. Like he, 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 hey, you wanna know something, y'all? Well, you wanna stop. know something, y'all? Y'all made some good points about <clears throat> the situation with these clowns listening to these other clowns, right? The, the thing is, they've already told y'all wh who they really are. The real Xbox fans are listening to none of them, right? Nah. Their names don't get brought up in the atmosphere, okay? You go on Xbox and you get with people who are playing Xbox games. These guys' names never get mentioned. These guys are not celebrities. Nobody knows about these dudes. The only people that know about these dudes are the same group of people that follow that same group of crowd. All right, they're in that same algorithm of her. All right, so all they're really doing is sharing their own fan bases. They're, 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 there's no new people running over there. Hey, exactly. So, right. There's the, the, the facade is that you know these dudes are are mega stars on YouTube. They're not. Nobody's nobody's buying vid, uh, cars and houses off of their channels. All right. So listen, we're all really here for for the for the flag of fun, um, for people who really are for the culture of gaming and just want to speak on things and give their honest opinion. That's what we're here for. So, mm -hmm. so the reason why they have these, these fans six layer is because <clears throat> these fans need heroes, right? Because they can't stand on their own too. Like we can, right? We don't need a, we don't need a, we're, we're not crowd pleasers. We can do this on our own. I can do this by myself. Yeah, they need their own validation from somebody right. else. The, the, exactly. The, these clowns need, these people to speak for them, right? So the Xbox community isn't built off of that. We know who these so-called their fans are. They're not Xbox fans. These are these are just some wishy-washy, weak ass, the bottom of the donkey list who need people to be critical of Xbox. As long as they're critical of Xbox, they get a pass beast. They don't have to say, they don't even have to talk bad about Xbox. Right. Their satisfaction just comes off of being critical, right? They, they and, and then they think that because they're being critical of Xbox all the time, that's considered being real. Because we over here as, look, 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 Beast. You can't I'm be real if you don't in, game. They don't even game. The most, right. When it comes to fanship, I live, and me and Technoblast live, me and Ro live in an area where nobody can tell us what fans what fans look like I, down the street from me literally maybe 20 minutes away is the at&t stadium of the dallas cowboys you want to know what fans look like you come to my area the dallas cowboys can do no wrong you will get your ass jacked up going down at at&t stadium running your mouth too much about the cowboys it's then been on Channel 3 News. Somebody that got shot for talking stupid about the Cowboys after the game was over with. Shot. Broad daylight. Listen, no matter how much they screw up, these fans believe every year that the Cowboys is going to win the Super Bowl. Every year. You know why they think that way? Because they're fans, Beast. Fans don't talk down what they support. Beast, how does that make any sense? So well, grifters. If, if right, if we're Xbox fans, right, then common sense would be, yeah, legal is going to always talk good, but it's got to make sense. Just like tonight, we don't just talk great about Microsoft in a standpoint where Microsoft can't do no wrong, mm -hmm. right? Because we don't. The thing is, when we criticize Microsoft, beast, we don't do it for validation. To say, hey, look at me, I'm real because I said this for you. That's not what we do it for. We do it right. for the culture of gaming. We do it of the true concern of the Xbox community. So when we bring things up that doesn't make us happy, it's because that's how we actually feel. 
And it ain't based off of, yeah, I'm going to have a whole lot of people agreeing with me. You know, that's why I'm going to say this. And, you know, because because we can actually say good things about Xbox. You know why? Because we actually put the time in the Xbox, don't we, Game Girl? But, hey, on, on that note, though, legal, this, and this is a crazy right. thing, though, none of them ever think right. about. Hmm? Like you just said, hmm? and we we, point, we we hinted at the fact, y'all right. dudes, y'all feel the peer pressure, right? Y'all have to be mad because the position you put yourself in you 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 pigeonhole yourself into this position literally that's the de look look up the definition of pigeonhole right you Speak pigeonhole on. yourself in, in, into this position because none of them are known for gaming not a tim dog not a uni not a whoever the fuck else and yeah if i if i reference, if I reference your your name or anything i'm trying to holler at you personally i don't gotta run from you none y'all y'all run from me y'all say my name and avoid me i don't avoid y'all so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and tuck that in right just in case you get offended i'm speaking on all things factual Y'all not gamers like that, right? But you've been around here capping for Xbox so much. So what can you do when they try to pick on? You can't say, let's hop on the game or I'll whoop you because you're not Fact. a gamer. So you got to get mad and act like you mad at Xbox because you can't do nothing else. And it's my B, challenge with y'all, right? B, you if, know if you funny? think, hold on, let me say this legal. If you if you really think them, them any of those dudes are them guys, okay, you got to have one of the hottest games that came out in the, in the past year. You got to have a, a tech in an armor core a right. street fighter hell remnant two you I we all xbox dude so we gotta have something hell halo right. i hop on halo i don't even play that right right, right. so put, put up your best grifter that think they like that and we can run a guy of the games and i'll show you who the who the gamer is because they not gamers they don't play games like that bro you, you, know, you don't you don't i don't think y'all don't play enough games to be this mad bro right so you have to default to like being mad and gripping and right. you know trying to scam dudes for dollars and super chat like right. come on bro because you're not you, you're not really invested in the gaming side of it it's about right. and, the and peer beat. pressure. That's what you and invested. It's not in. so much. It's not so much getting beat, right? Because everybody has gotten beat in gaming. Back. It's it's coming to the challenge. Yeah, we, me and you was playing on uh, Suicide Squad. Everybody get an update into like two days. Season one hey, coming. Holla at me. Yeah, I'm I'm down. Holla at me because hey, exactly. Now, how many of them? How many of them dudes? How many That's of them right. dudes squad up and gain gain together hardcore like that in Suicide Squad? Go. Something you like that. Squad up. There you no, go. no. But what I'm like, also saying, Beast, you made a point. When you come to the challenge, you're going to gain the respect. If I find out that you're not really that good at Gears, but you came to me, after a while, bro, I'm just going to say, you know what, bro? Squash it, bro. At least you came. Because that's what, because, hey, you came. That's what gamers do. Hey, you know what? I'm not good at it. I'm telling you. Because any real gamer is not going to feel great at whooping somebody who actually sucks at a game. You ain't lying. That's why I teach every dude. I don't even play fighting games. I'm gonna just say this: people, people used to look at me as the fighting game dude. I don't practice in none of this, bro. Like my man, I fought my man. I didn't have Tekken. I just recently got Tekken. This is an example. Oh, peace, oh peace. I wanted to tell you real quick. I just yeah. beat all the ghosts. I'm finished. Okay, yeah. So yeah, oh, yeah. Anytime you're trying to play, let, let me know, bro. You know, and I ain't even have Tekken, right? It's yeah. funny because. Everybody's talking about playing Tekken when I didn't have it, right? So I had recently got Tekken, right? And I said, anybody who's trying to fight, holler at me. I ain't nobody respond. You know who I did? You know who I did fight? Because I know you were playing other dudes like that. But all the dudes that was talking all crazy, ain't none of them respond. You know who I ended up fighting? My man, Wreck the Hero, on PlayStation. That's a real PlayStation fan, right? You probably, you probably don't want to talk. you probably seen him. He's a real fan. He don't rock with the ponies. He don't do none of that capping. He don't like. No, he don't like him as much as I don't like him, right? And I, right. I go on Twitch and some record our fights and stuff. Yeah, know? I fought. I fought him. I fought um his boy Rod the Joker. I fought this dude T Boss T Wine or something like that. Oh, but, Gen X said he on it right now. I'm flame ruling. Yeah, I went. Right. Listen, listen, I went. I went in, and again, what's that? Everybody, everybody, I fought on Tekken had more time than me, right? So it goes back to what you were saying. Ask anybody that I ever played in a fighting game. Hell, I played my man um Lemon 108 Dragon, right? When we played Street Fighter 4, he was getting used to the to the controls. Nia tell you, I didn't just dive in and like, oh, I got you. Like he ain't know how to do certain stuff. So I waited till he got his hands right and let's right, go ahead. Right. Cause That's like you said, cool. I don't get no honor hey, of uh, whooping quiet. somebody that I know yeah. don't know what I know. It you can't That's celebrate that, bro. I've never been like that since a child, bro. Yeah, I'd rather teach you how to play the game. Oh, man, I'll fight my brother in Tekken, homie. My brother ain't That's know how right. to do something. And I'm like, okay, every time they do an alt, grab them. That punishes them instantly. They can't do nothing. He started using it on me. That's how I am, bro. But most of these dudes out there won't even do that. I will literally teach you how to play the game and do everything I do and, and still beast. whoop you. And right? beast, I'm old they not like that. I don't even like the new controller scheme. I have to I have to default it to the classic because I that's where I come from. <laughs> right, you know right. I mean? right, right, right. They'd rather talk games than play games, that, bro. Right? 
I don't even switch up. The proof of piece of truth is talking about, right? Uh, my nephew, he's in he's in college now, but I remember when Street Fighter Four was out. He was like six or seven, right? This kid would bother my brother for every game, but put everything on easiest mode. You know how kids do, right? So then my sister's um kid um comes by. They're of similar age, right? And he's being and she's never played the game before, right? He's doing every little cheesy move, right? But meanwhile, I notice she's actually slowly learning the game because she's not using any little cheats or whatever, right? So right. max to max, max to max, she's getting closer and closer and closer, right? So even though he's winning, he's winning by less and less and less. Yeah, and that's what it's about, right. And he sees that the next round, if he fights her again, he's going to lose, right? And so he all of a sudden, he's like, oh, I want to stop now. I'm better than her. I, I beat her 10 times in a row. I, think I, said, I said, no, 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 no. You're going to play her again until I That's how you get good, Jago. Right? And she whipped him 11 times in a row. Right? Yeah. Right? And ever since then, he plays fair in every game since after that point. This was this is what my brother told me afterwards. Right? I said, yo, I did that to him because he was playing like a bitch. I said that straight to my brother. Right? Mm -hmm. I said, your son was playing like a bitch. And you were going to let him stay like that the whole time. And if he acts like this, this is how he's going to take it into life. He was six then. He's in college now, right? The reason I say this is the same thing these ponies would have did, right? Mm -hmm. They would have sat there, take every advantage, win quick, dip out, and then go tell all their friends because it's all about clout. Right. Like you said, Beast, you didn't do that. You let Lemon get his hands right. So that way when y'all fight, there's no bullshit. You know, but it wasn't for bragging rights or anything. Y'all would be mm -hmm. playing together anyway. But if it was a competition thing, you could say with a clear conscience that you whipped him for real. These Six other players don't do that. Mm -hmm. Six layers. You tell me. And, and we play. And we play Killer Instinct. Lemon, was, Lemon, Lemon actually got me a little more on there. Now he was nice on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Look, nice Nick, like right. When I started my journey on Gears of War, right before I became a top ten rank in the nation in the world from just being normal, I'm normal, right? No, everybody didn't, didn't believe me that they thought I was some damn uh, pro player, right? Because I was whooping a few of them too. Gears 3, it took me a while to learn it, y'all. I was fresh out the pan. I lost about 2,000 matches, Lou. Wow. wow. That's how it is. When I, when I finished, when I finished in a three and a year and a half span, I never got to 3,000 and losses, Lou. My hey. JV ratio, Lou. Was a 2.9. You Damn. play three matches, Luke. So a 2.9, what that mean, beast? That means I ain't losing. Mm -hmm. I don't lose no more. I got all my stats to this day. I got no. it. I got, my, I got my videos up. Game show knows it. I That's showed you put in your time. You learned hey, it. I hey, hey, the hey, sick. Hey, it took hey. 2,000 losses, sick. And hey. when I and the game shows knows this. The, the 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 gears of war community is unmerciful. Oh they hell yeah! No mercy. You there was no hey man look learn they beat my. Do you know how I learned how to play from getting my ass whooped? Right. I, yeah, I get my ass whooped every day, bro. Yeah, that's how you learn. Yep. That's, that's how, how I learn. Know. And games, yeah, I try to, me and mm -hmm. you, games, me and you know we saw our beloved games almost die because beast this new dumbass lame ass weak ass generation of gamers. They cry. They cry in, in Gears 4. It's too hard. They play too much. They talk too much trash. You know what the coalition did? They listened to them bitches. And they yep. changed the whole culture. There was no more net words called casual. You call them beginners. What, what was it? Beginner, uh, intermediate. And, 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 like, and, and, oh, and legal. And legal. legal. Remember, to, remember to get rid of the chip box. The, the, the chat the box. box. You the chat box, you know why? Ah. You know why? Because people, because there's people like talking I'm trash. I'm getting Lou, you're, you're, you didn't pay. Right. It's too toxic. You can't make this up. Game sales. Yeah. You pay for live service, but you're getting bullied on live when you got a fucking I don't know, man. When you got a fucking listen, you, you, you saw it, you, you dumbass. And you ain't got to listen to nobody if you don't feel like Man, I can't, hey, hey, man, I can't believe to get rid of the chat box. <laughs> like, like, nigga, <laughs> like, well, what? Because, because people I mean, call you there. I, I mean, oh, what are you what are you in? Right. Listen, no, 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 no. This is a true story. I won four 
and 15. I ain't gonna lie, man. These niggas were whooping our ass. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> and then, 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 after the end, man, these niggas are you fucking son. Oh, my bad. I, 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 I didn't see the curse. No, no, I, I know what you mean, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, you not. trash. I yeah. said, oh, yeah. shit, I. You done got your ass, bro, but that ain't enough, Lou. They going to come yeah. in with messages on they, they, they don't come after you, like. There ain't no good game. Right, that's but, not the gears community. There's no, hey, good game. Oh, no, you got your ass What they letting you know. Uh, uh, all I know is one thing: when Gen Zero puts on that Pokemon shirt, man, no, ain't nobody no, bring him down, man. Ain't nobody bring him down. He gets all, all mad and all hey, that stuff nah. with that Pokemon shirt, hey, man. Hey, first of all, first of all, hey, hey, Lou, yeah, first you got of all, Pokemon clothes, nigga. Hey, hey, I just want to say this: he got, guy, he got Pikachu <laughs> socks. <laughs> for, for, for first of all, for, hold on, hold on, hold on, legal. First of all, dude, I don't wear no Pokemon clothes. I don't even play that <laughs> shit. No, that's yeah. not yeah. Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. He means it. Right now, Pokemon. Right? My man, games walk around in a mug shirt. He got a hunter hat. <laughs> Hey, I want to say this real quick, yo. That's a weirdo shit, nigga. I want to give a shout out to Six Slayer for hitting me up, getting me boosted back up, man. I've been sick, y'all, man. It's been crazy. I don't know what the hell put me down. But uh, I'm so I apologize again to Crazy Lou and the Xbox International Podcast for missing the show. Uh, invite me again. I'm ready to come through. Like I said, whenever you guys are ready, I know you guys got a schedule, but reschedule me. Um. Shout out to Resident. I know Resident had to leave to go to work. Shout out to him. We're, we're just, we're just, we want to give back to the ground, like Rain G4 sliding through. We want to give back to the ground. Um, what up, Rain? We, we want to build from the ground. We want to help people. In, and and thanks to the community over there. Thanks to the Chit Chat community yep. for, for following Crazy Lou. Thanks for following us. Beast, th thanks for holding down spaces when you do. Because we need more real xbox people and areas we all don't have to be in the same area because we all when we're spread it out and we're in different realms and we're still speaking from the one mindset we're making more better impacts there mm -hmm. and and people will see that we all we all are supporting each other it's just that we now have generals they don't have to have backups and they can stand tall on their own and for the first time i'm seeing that and it makes me feel good out here. Um, more and more people are not afraid to speak out and tell lames when they're being lames. I love it. And and the Xbox community, the real Xbox community knows who it is. It's We're not confused about each other. We know who we are. It's mm -hmm. in our language. So I want to I want to say that again, sick. Thanks, man, for for edifying me, man, even when I'm not feeling that good. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Get back out here and speak, man, because. It's it's rough, man, and, and and like you said, we're we're OGs. A lot of times we get bored, y'all. I, I I really get bored of repeating myself, seeing yeah. you go, go but but uh, loco over video games because when it, when y'all start doing that, it tells me that y'all really are not real gamers. You don't really understand the culture of gaming when you're losing your mind like that. These uh, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, they're businesses, people. And when you understand that, you understand that, yeah, they fight for us. They they cheer us on as fans. They love that. Don't get us, don't get them wrong. But they will never put that to allow their companies to fall apart because we want we don't want uh games to go places that we feel like. right. Mm. They, they gotta put they gotta still keep the business running. So yep. it comes down to this. I get it, y'all, and y'all don't have to believe me. But beast, damn it, I ain't, I'm not, I, here's the thing with me. When am I going to be wrong, right? So I'm going to say this boldly. I'm going to look at that mic and I'm going to speak this, right, Rain? Microsoft, again, the vision is to put it on as many platforms as their games can possibly put on. It's already been told to us, beast, that Nintendo and PlayStation do not believe in Game Pass on their platform. So everybody, let's stop acting like 
Game Pass is just missing on Nintendo and PlayStation because Microsoft just wants it to be. No, Nintendo and PlayStation do not see that vision of Game Pass. That's just it. They don't want mm -hmm. it on their platform. So Yo, I just say now that, that bro, my, my, Phil said that. So now that we know that Game Pass, it's not the fact that it's impossible for Game Pass. It's just they don't want it on their platforms. And listen, I don't. And, and more power to them. I don't have a, no problems with that, right? Because they have their own vision, right? Force a legend in the building. You clown it. I already know. Fam, you are real Xbox fam here. You already know. We already know. Force a legend. We already know mm. that's not in the building, mm. baby. We already know. Mm. But and you know, like, and I get that, right? And I respect that. But 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 you see, Beast, when something positive happens, when when Nintendo and Microsoft is actually collaborating, Lou, you don't hear shit. Mm. Nope. This is right. why and, you know. and, and, and you know what? Sarah Bond, you are right. I don't belong. You don't belong, Sarah Bond. Lou, you don't belong. Sick game shows and beast and spawn one seven, uh, uh, Jago six and others Zinc and many, many more who are who've been put over three eras of gaming in your lifetime. We don't belong in this generation because we're not watchers. I've said it over and over again. This generation, uh, this I'm done. Rain, get it, get out of here, man. Get out of here, fam. Get off, get off the air, bro. Get yeah, come on. Get, yeah, get, yeah, get, yeah, get, get out of here, fam. Yeah. Don't oh, man. Yeah, wrong. Wow. Yeah, wrong. Oh, man. Man. Hey. Right. <laughs> this ain't no Diddy making a band. Original name was <laughs> I'm telling you. Shut up, Mark. Oh man. Oh man. Leave my oh, bad Diddy at all, man. Free Diddy. Oh, oh he said free. Yo, you want to get canceled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to make this abundantly clear. It wasn't there are so many fake dudes out here, right? Right. Who keep talking like uh, they're criticizing. Yeah, right? go through left and right. <laughs> they're left and right with the criticizing, right? And then they're like, oh, but I'm being a real fan because I'm questioning all this stuff. No, you're not. You know how I know? Because the only dudes who are listening to you are a bunch of ponies. Smack them down, bro. Right. You know, you're only talking about those other dudes in the spaces, right? You see who's their audience is. You see who they are. See the audience is Pony this. after pony after right. pony. The only dudes who got the mic to speak are the same dudes that we yep. see all the time with the suspect shit, including right. you, Paris. It's always you, Paris, with that dude. We call you out, all of a sudden you come. And don't forget, we all know the real the real reason why you came to the podcast when we called your name out. I Leave know Paris it. alone, you shit. Know it. Nah, Stop. nah, the hell with that. Because he was up in the space earlier <laughs> no, no. today. He was up in the space earlier today. With the <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. What? I don't know. That, that, that's what I'm talking about. So hold up. So this is what I'm saying. There's a lot of fake dudes out here, right? As soon as they hear some stuff, all of a sudden, oh, Xbox is flatlining because Chris Drink said so. Even um, Liz Tech Tips, you know, they got that other channel, Game Link. They just put up a video. Is Xbox flatlining? You know they're going to put hysterical shit for clicks and views, right? But but who is that for, Sick? You got a point. Is that that's for Xbox fans to watch, really? No, that's for regular See? people exactly. to watch. Who confuse exactly. stuff. And, and Beast of Truth can verify. Mm -hmm. There was a chick who came into the spaces, right? Yeah. Who, 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 who knows very little about games, but knows a little something. I had a one S. We right? had to put her up on game, literally. And I had to put her up on game on what the current systems were and stuff like that, right? But for real, even she noticed what it was, right? And we were like, yo, there are people out there who will tell you this, who will tell you that. You can play what you want, but over here, we, we play Xbox. You already had an Xbox. You, you want to get the next one? Well, you can get yourself a Series X or a Series S, right? And she was like, oh, cool. And it was nothing but conversations about games. No ponies jumped in to ruin no conversation. It was mm -hmm. all cool, right? Shout out, shout out to Sheik. Shout right. out to Sheik. Go over to spaces. Yeah, yeah. Leave. I don't really host spaces too much like that, bro. I might really hop in one, but my right. man Sheik going to start hosting them. And I'm, I'm going to be up yeah. in there and Sheik will come yeah, up in there. We're going we gonna to kick, right. re kick real I, things I, when we can, though. I'll return one day. You know, I, I'll return and I one just, day. Yeah. And I just want to make that out there that, like, yo, there were real people out there who were discussing games, right? Who mm -hmm. care about games. 
And aren't there all this bullshit clout, all this other crap? It's all that's crap. That's real sick. gamers, real sick. gamers. Sick. 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 To your, and, to your, and to your ending, sick, chit chat, mm. and everybody, Lou, what What's game up? are y'all enjoying right now while, while we're on this subject? I heard Dragon Dogma. Dragon Dogma 2. But I heard Dragon Dogma 2 is fire. You oh, ain't. Oh, my God, man. Let me, let, let me tell you something about Dragon yeah. Dog real quick. Oh, let me tell you something about Dragon Dogma real quick. Yeah, okay. guys, do not go streaking at night in Dragon Dogma. Don't make that mistake. <laughs> Bro. Don't make that mistake. <laughs> because this is what happened to me, right? I go because I'm, I'm brand new to this type of game. So, yeah, I, I go buy an armor, but hell, it was heavy. I'm like, mm. oh, damn, I got a heavy armor on. Damn. So what I did was I took all my heavy armor off and started running, you know, at night just to get my XP up because it's, the, the guys are harder, you know. <laughs> oh, my XP. So I'm running around streaking in my underwear out there with oh. my sword and my shield, man. That's what I'm doing running out there. And God damn, this big ass beast just comes out of nowhere. And man, I took oh, off shit, right away. And, and that motherfucker, I'm telling you, he slapped me back, right back. back. To Elder Scrolls back in the 1980s. Damn. That's how bad he smacked me. I mean, I was like, damn. He was pissed I was running out naked. Man. <laughs> 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 nah, straight up, straight up. Dragon's Dogma is me, man. You're in the best. Because I'm about to say something very important. Dragon's Dogma is the perfect example of what we've been talking about all night, right? Because there's right. all these people talking about performance issues and microtransactions that you don't need for stuff mm -hmm. that's in the game that's not even hard to get like they did with Gran Turismo, right? It's not like some shit like that where they made it so that uh, the best way to get these items is to pay for it. No, Listen. right? It's got some performance issues and, and all that other stuff. But you see, once again, why it has performance issues? Those AI characters, those pawns of yours, they're intelligent characters that are doing stuff, right? Mm -hmm. That makes it game, right? Forget all these wild people out here on all these websites and stuff talking shit about all these games. Oh, it's got the new, the, it's got this. It eats up your performance. It doesn't get high frame rate. But real gamers are like, yo, this game is fun. And they're all telling stories about what's going on in this game. And I remember. Yeah, there, you know what, Sid? You made a point. There's always going to be some. Right, yeah, there's always going to be something listen, to nick about, right? But l l l listen, sick. Let me tell you something. Overall, about gamers, real gamers, look at where the fun factor is, and if the fun exactly. factor, that's, that's what that's what I look for. And it the only be right. the only thing I don't tolerate about a game is this. I mean, okay, it can break, it can mm -hmm. do all the stuff. Yeah, but if it ha if it has a safe problem, that's that. I mean, I right that there. Yeah, I, I, things I go back. Fixed. I say, okay, yeah. I'll wait till they fix it. Yeah. Because with save problems, like for example, look at me and Dragon's Dogma already have like what nine, ten hours in it. Mm. And imagine yourself that I go on there and it says, Oh, you oh, the game is having problems or whatever, and I got five, five hours in it. Like, Damn, he is <laughs> but it's, it's, not, it's nothing G4 wrong with it. Right, and that, that said, makes me mad right there. But other than that, I sold it out of zone. No, nah, but Great. it ain't it ain't even no nah, Louis. That's a that's a valid criticism. Um, yeah. any game, bro. Nobody likes that. Brought and dealt with games exactly. that's been known to uh, corrupt your data, man. Growing up on on P remember PS2, bro. Your data oh, for certain games was oh, oh, yeah. they getting man. corrupted, bro. Oh, so now, now that's the thing, right? Man. Even oh. though we dealt with all them games that did that, that never stopped oh, us from, from oh, you that did never legal? stopped us from giving the game the credit you and glory. That it is. Nah, baby, I had some credits I didn't even know about. Yeah, man. Like, normal for two ninety nine. Just, just the thing about that, like critiquing. Yo, don't listen to stupid people, bro. Yeah, yeah, critiquing a, I'll say it like this, right? Critiquing anything doesn't make you real. Anybody can no. sit back and, and complain and cry. You, we know what make you real when you critique it for the sake of caring about the product, the person that want to make it truly right. better, right? None of these dudes that critique, not not one of these dudes, not one of these dudes that act like they're the face of the Xbox fan base and they sell and they play, they Xbox, not one of them can sit at a board meeting with, with Phil Spencer, Sarah Bond, nobody, Piss them an idea and walk out over the pat on their back. They'll get lapped out of the room. They've always been wrong about everything, everything they say, bro. The, the stuff we talk about, though, right? The niggas like me, you, sick. They are all ideas coming to fruition. Everything we done said about this has come to pass. So this is my thing. You can critique, you can critique all you want to, but if you can't help something get better and build it, that don't make you real, bro. And you know what, beast? It ain't just because all we think we know it all. We don't know it all. All we're doing is hearing what they're. 
all we're doing is hearing what they actually say. Right. We go by what they actually say, and that's what we judge them off of. So when we go by what they say, it gives us a clear path of vision. We can see what they're trying to do. And then we just, because we're trying to make sense out of it, we're not just, like I said, when we're wrong, we're right. When we're right, we're right. What I mean by that is, even if we say something and it's wrong, we're not saying it in an evil way to be wrong. If we're wrong, we're saying it. We're saying it in a way to be right. We just might be ignorant, and that's just what we felt at the time. And then, hey, we're we're men of approach. So I, I always say I'm not above being corrected. I've been corrected on direct gaming plenty of times from the panel if I said something wrong or the chit chat community, and I stand correct. But it's not that I was wrong because I'm just being malicious. I'm I'm wrong just because of what I said when I've been out of ignorance. But it still had a good intentional aspect when right. it came out of my mouth. You see what I'm saying, Beast? Yeah, none, none of these that's, dudes, and that's right. that's the point, though. None of these dudes critique right. Xbox because they truly want it to be better. Exactly. They critique Xbox because they lost ammo and they're going to get picked on. If you're really doing that, bro, like, why are you a gamer, bro? Like, And, it, right. and this exactly. is funny. Like, a lot of these dudes, I remember no, with, with dudes. Say that when, again. Say that again. Yeah, what you that's just true. Said, that is so true. It yeah. needs to be repeated clearly. No, no. that that that's That's facts. Like, you are scared to get picked on, bro. Like you scared right. to get picked on, so you you critique because Xbox. You chose a side. You chose a side, and then and right. then not looking for Rosie in the little aspect. Oh, now right, you want to act man. like you to validate yourself. Like, well, see, in, in, in state, like, I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat it for them in here because they weren't even in, in sheet space earlier. You gotta yeah. understand, right? A lot of these dudes came up watching a lot of these other dudes. Now, remember this, yep. right? Yeah, we came around the same time. Me, old boy, a couple of them came around at the, around the same time. One of us chose a path of follow me, follow me, follow me, clout, clout, clout. I'm just doing me. If you and I tell people all the time, if if you like me, you like me. You don't, you don't. I nigga, I don't care, right? So if you if you came up watching these dudes and envying them, right? Now you done built up a following, and a couple of these dudes did this. You done built up a following by capping and acting like you the biggest Xbox fan in the world. Now you finally got to sit at the table with these dudes, right? Now you you still idolize them, but now they like okay, you got a little follow behind your name. We'll be seen with you, right? So when it comes time to critique Xbox, that's that you have to do that to keep your seat and your standing with these dudes. The moment you start trying to like be be like us and speak objectively about it, they're gonna ostracize you, right? And all that work you try to build up to get beside them will be for not. This is why those dudes do that, bro. It's never it's it's, it's not about gaming with most of them dudes, bro. Right? All day to be Back. real, it, it, even amongst this group. How many times on this podcast, and usually it's about VR, but we're not going to get into the deal. I'm just saying as an example. Oh, right? what? And right. I right. bring that up, man. No, just stop, 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 because that's how it goes every time. I'm not making that point. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I got my hammer. Yo, you know what? I'm going to stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I will put my sword this time. Go ahead, Listen, I got more swords than you, so chill. <laughs> Listen, what I'm saying, yo, it's me versus everybody else, right? Right. Right. And I'm standing on business. Y'all can disagree right. with me if you want, and I'll disagree right. with you if you want, right? And I'll stand Dick, on You do, boy. You stand I'll, on business, fam. I stand. No, no, no. Right. My point is. But you stand on the concern of VR. And, that's fine. You don't stand just to be fanboying. You stand exactly. on exactly. the principles <laughs> of the goodwill of business because I believe in right. it. Not because I'm trying to be down with somebody else. And we know that right. about you. That's why. We, we, you, we, that's why you can speak it around us because we genuinely know <laughs> that you care for that. You care yeah. for that result of that. And we right. know that, bro. And you're, right. and you are a true supporter of it. You bought into that. And, and, and you're not, hey, me, hey, me too. Me too, though. Because even Tony believe, believe in it because they pour, this was uh, funny. I'm going to say this, though. It's funny, right? Mm. How funny is it? They talking about people going third party. Sony were literally about to put out an update to make they they first party peripheral compatible with a PC because they couldn't move their first party that's content. A Crazy. They stopped building them right now because they have too many unsold. They literally they sold. It. They told us this. Okay, it's not where we finding some leak or whatever. They came up and told us. Dragon Blade, that's good. So anyway, yeah, but it, yeah, we should wrap up since you know uh, we're, we're gonna wrap up. And I and I know uh, resident. Oh, I, it didn't happen the way I wanted it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it with a special uh, notification, <laughs> y'all. No, uh, and, and I want to say this too to Dragon Blade. Uh, I'm glad, brother, that your daughter did not was not on that bridge in Baltimore when she was driving at 1 p.m. She oh, that's crazy. She could have been on that bridge. 
but she did not get on there when that boat hit. And 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 listen, man, our thoughts are out to those people who 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 got family members and loved ones. Sure. That they, that's just crazy. A very unfortunate situation to the people that were on that ship. We know it's not y'all's fault. And I and, and listen, man, I know y'all. I know they feeling bad and sad. You know, I know they are, but. I, it's tragedies happening. Hey man, that's I hey man, you. that's some crazy shit, right? Yeah, that's crazy. And most importantly, yo, yeah. people, stop pointing fingers, right? It's a tragic situation. Sometimes stuff just happens. Yeah, no Joe. doubt, bro. That's exactly. Fingers, I tell people all the time, sick. You know, this is why you got to be prepared, man. You never know when it's your time to go, so you got to be prepared to go. Be right with God, bro. Right. Yeah. Uh. Dragon Blade, I'm glad your daughter wasn't there. You know, uh, it's a good thing I know, man. I know you love your daughter. And then, and then for the second thing, I want to say something uh, that's that's very interesting and funny to me as well. It was resident resident O and Rillis birthday today. They didn't even know Rillis. He was supposed to show up today. Oh birthday, man, that's right, he, though, man. He was Aww. supposed to be home with us today, but I know what? he's home from traveling. Well, I, I'm oh. not mad. At him. I got a message. And then the president told me today it was his birthday. So I was like, damn. Oh. Once I get uh if I get Rillis on the show today with them both on there, I was gonna say that. But I know resident had to leave to go to work. I know he does it. I know Rillis he wanted to be here tonight, but I don't know what might have transpired. But he's he's home with his family. Oh, man. He's home with his family. So happy birthday to both of y'all dudes, man. Happy and birthday, many, Willis and uh resident. Exactly, man. So a uh, resident knew. Because I told him, but I told oh, him to play it off because really happy birthday to him too. Facts. So if anybody else has a birthday on today, happy birthday to you too. But <laughs> excuse me, man. Man, that, that chess code is killing me, y'all. But shout outs to shout out to the chit chat community. Uh bear with me, man. I know I can't roll call y'all tonight because I'm my voice sucks. But to each and every last one of y'all that comes out and supports this channel day in and day out, like y'all do, y'all know what y'all mean to me. Peace the truth. Salute to you, G, my G, my brother, my my, my comrade of green of the Emerald Forest. Yeah, too, for sure. The man who can stand on his own, too. That's the, that's the nickname that, I, that I've given him. And, and, and man, the, the he's spaces. Nobody can take spaces from Beast. He is spaces. You know, me, no, me, and, really, me and really started that engine. Hey, when start hating, nigga. Beast came uh, in. I said, there ain't no spaces, I nigga. said, yo, let Beast I have mean. It. We got YouTube. We go to you. Let Beast have this because the now we got somebody to trying to say who's right. Who. There's wow. somebody who can talk, and that's all we really wanted, man. Get yeah. somebody out here different that wants to talk to Xbox. So Beast, salute to you, man. You took that baton and you've held that good, man. Uh, uh, shout out to Canada. I saw Metroplex in here. I got my man Spartan one one seven in here, representing Canada. Ashtray making us international today. Lou over here in the Dominican Republic, my man, my brother from another mother. I got my man Game Zeros in here, a real Game Zero, passionate, one of the best gaming Xbox reviewers we have out here. Underrated, y'all be sleeping on him, but he don't need y'all's approval. There's plenty of people on YouTube who know about his channel. And love your reviews. So you don't need no approval, nobody game shows. Keep Cap. doing what you do. I got my man six layer. Hey, six layer, I gotta say, dude. This dude, six layer. I, I, I promise y'all, this dude never gets tired of talking about video games. This dude will talk about video games in the morning, at lunch, in the afternoon, and at night on four different podcasts. They'll be on spaces too if you can. Six Slayer, I don't care. <laughs> There's not that many people like you. I swear that dude. And if, and if I say sick, man, we're going on show. He's right there. He's fired up. I'd be like, damn, this dude, he's yeah, never one who actually called for this one, actually. Yeah, but uh, um, yeah, he actually yeah, yeah. he actually called for this one. So six slayer is like an engine with unlimited fuel. This dude don't ever get tired of talking about gaming, man. So that's what my girl I, says, but not about gaming. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Haiti in the building, man. Shout out to Haiti in the building and the Dominican Republic. Because basically, y'all one island, man. You and Lou are one the beautiful island. Beautiful island in Hispaniola. Yeah, that one no side doubt. is beautiful. The Dominican oh. side, the other side is kind of brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on fire. Hey, Talos, thank you. Thank you for Xbox uh, International Podcast. Shout out to those guys as well. Shout out to everybody. 
hey man, listen, if you like what we're about, what you know what we're about, we're about that Xbox. We're about real gamers. This is about the Xbox community. We we enjoy it. We love it. We we love the support. We love being a part of it. Shout out to everybody that comes in and support. If you love what we're about, man, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the yeah. notification bell. Never it's gonna be a long, be a long also, generation, folks. Right. And also, soon, Game Shirls, maybe possibly this summer, is gonna start. Uh, 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 a podcast on his channel as well, and hopefully I get to get over there and, and, and help with him too. Me, Lou, anybody else that's out here. B, I know Beast and Six there will probably be on this too, helping them around mm -hmm. the clock sometimes. But game hey, no, not Beats, man. Beats too tough, man. <laughs> yo, yo, your show gonna be named Captain and Cupcakes, nigga. Talking about <laughs> yeah. but, but, but game show. We would love to have you out here as a voice, man. You know your Xbox stuff. And like I said, man, the more real Xbox people keep coming, the better the Xbox community is going to be. Um, shout out to all the the shout to the vision of Microsoft, uh, and my and Nintendo that don't get talked about. What they say, beast, trying to make the gaming atmosphere better place. Shout out yep. to shout out to Microsoft, not being afraid to do what everybody don't want to do and taking the shots for it. That's why I'm on Xbox platform. I know why I'm an Xbox fan. Um. Like I said, uh, hit the notification bell. Never miss a beat. And uh, support all these guys that are here, man. Support them. They love the Xbox community. I hope you guys uh, uh, support them as well. These are my friends. These are my comrades. These are my homies, man. Shouts to the Chit Chat community once again. We're getting up out of here. Um, and like I said, man. Always Free, free Man. Nah. Nah. Boy, they're going to they gonna raise your house in Harlem, boy. Keep on. <laughs> But uh remember y'all keep it gaming, never let nobody chase the one up. And six layer told me I had to go back to my model, so I'm gonna go back to my mm. model. Hey, hey, stop flip flopping, oh. man. Oh. Ain't right, man. Uh, one minute, one minute you're an Xbox fan, the next minute you're a PlayStation <laughs> fan, the next minute you're an Xbox fan. And next minute you're playing. Yeah, I was gonna say y'all, y'all get drag, y'all get Dragon's Dogma too, bro. I love Fable. I, I love oh, Fable, but right now, Dragon's Dogma Two is the best RPG I ever played. It, it sets a new standard for player and AI Shout action, bro. Shout out to what? Capcom. Yeah, for hey, real. We we're here on Direct Gaming, where we bring the streets to gaming and gaming back to the streets. Yo, y'all have a good night. Thanks for oh. coming out. God bless. We'll see y'all next time. We out of here. Peace. Peace.